right on time. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the live stream of the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association's 2024 National Championships right here in San Diego. We're just minutes away from kicking off the second of today's three individual preliminary contests. I'm Jeff Whittle, and my co-commentator is Valerie Coit, one of the co-founders and board members of the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association. Yes. Hello, Valerie. Hello, and welcome back for anybody who was on the live stream this morning and watched our first competition. We're, like you said, on the second one of the day, and we're so excited to be watching all these talented puzzlers do their thing today. <laughs> it's it's really, it is exciting for me. I've been waiting this for this for a while. It's been months of organizing, and today we finally get to see it all kind of pay off, and everybody have a great time, and just watch these really talented folks do their thing. And there will be, just like in the first preliminary, mm -hmm. uh, 100 contestants. The top 33 mm -hmm. will advance to Sunday afternoon's final. Mm -hmm. so. And yep, so we're gonna cut to Allie right now. She's going to, Allie Krasny is one of the board members. She's gonna give us some rules and announcements. All right, welcome everyone to the 2024 USA Jigsaw Nationals, the prelims too. We are so excited to have you guys here for the second a preliminary round of the individual competition. Um, I have a quick announcement before I uh, talk to you guys about the rules. We have someone named Josh who has a seat that was changed. Uh, William right here with the Mickey Mouse ears. Talk to him if that's your name. Um, okay, so we are going to do this preliminary round with 100 competitors. The top 33 will advance. Uh, there will be a two-hour time limit for this 500-piece puzzle. Um, and this puzzle, everyone should have a bag on their table that has a pink sticker on it. Don't open the bag. Um, let us know if there's a different color sticker on that, unless you want to do a different race. Uh, so we're going to talk about some quick rules before we get started. When So you won't open your bags until after we count down. And when we say go, you can open your bags and rip into your puzzles. Your puzzle seals of all sorts are n no longer an obstruction, so you should be able to dig right in. As you get close to finishing, please raise your hand if you don't see or hear a volunteer nearby to give us a heads up that you're getting close to finishing. Uh, everyone in yellow will be looking out for you, so we should hopefully catch you, but in case we don't, that's how to get our attention as you get close. Once you do finish, we ask that you take your hands off your puzzle, uh, celebrate a little bit, but also let us know that you are no longer assembling the puzzle. When you do that, there will be a volunteer who will record your time, uh, and that you can check across the hallway to see where your standings are afterwards for all of our spectators. There's also the live stream um, going on in that room over there, so make sure to stop by if you want more up-close uh, footage. If you're missing a piece, there is a 10-second uh, penalty. If you can't find your piece uh, the, after 10 seconds, the timer will stop. You won't have to search for it any longer. If you find it sooner, the timer stops sooner. If after the two hours you have not completed your puzzle, um, wait for a volunteer. We will, we will do a countdown at the end of the two hours. Ask everyone to take their hands off of the puzzle. And at that point, volunteers will come by to help you count clusters of three or more pieces which is uh, what will count towards your final results, and you'll still get a ranking even if you haven't completed your puzzle. One more reminder is to please be a great puzzle neighbor and avoid distractions like singing, tapping, um, and also please make sure if you do have anything playing on headphones that it's at a low enough volume that no one outside you can hear. Um, so from there, we are going to do a, we're going to take a quick little break before we do the countdown. Please be prepared. It's going to be a quick, uh, a quick countdown. So don't go anywhere. Hang out for just a few minutes and we'll get started soon. From the moment that we met, you worth the way. Oh. This could be the best thing that I'll ever know
we're back. So Jeff can share about our live stream raffle that's happening. And we are offering viewers the chance to be watching the live stream to enter our raffle. Those folks at home can head to usajigsaw.org, click on the live stream prize banner on the home page, fill out the entry form, and this time enter the keyword TEAMS for a chance to win some amazing prizes. That keyword again, TEAMS, T-E-A-M-S. We'll be announcing the winners of the live stream prizes on Sunday during our closing ceremonies, which will be broadcast between 3.30 and 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. There'll be one entry per keyword. However, there's a total of 16 keywords throughout the weekend. So just keep tuning in. So we've given out three keywords so far. So some folks already have three entries in the uh, live stream raffle. So Valerie, we have just a couple moments here. Tell us about the uh, this round of the individual preliminaries. Oh, there it is. Uh, so, sorry if you couldn't hear around that last bit. So we have 100 competitors, 33 will advance, and the 100th spot that is, you know, there still after three divisions of 33 is reserved for Yvonne Foyt, national champion from 2022. So she gets to move on regardless. She, she gets but she does. buy in the fr yeah, first round yeah, buy right. and is automatically but in the second round. She is still competing in one of the divisions so that... Uh, you know she gets the opportunity to do that but she will automatically advance to the final but yeah we have some great competitors in this round i'm really eager to see how this is going to go uh karen uh from karen puzzles she's was second place at, in 2022 and she is at a table right near the live stream area here and she's competing in this round along with her teammate actually eb karen who uh, they've competed a lot together as a team, and EB's very good on her own as well. They we were on the winning, she, her and her husband were yeah. on the winning team yeah, of the team last competition time. last time. Right. Now, Andrea Peng, ranked number two in the United States mm -hmm. in speed puzzling. She's competing in this round. She's going to be at table 20. Looking forward to a following her. So there will be uh, some... Yes. Last round, Jean is in this round. Uh, you know, so it is going to be exciting. We have a, every division, like I mentioned earlier, is pretty stacked with some tough competition. And then who knows who's out there? There's other folks out there that we might not have ever seen before who might surprise us today and, and to, you know, finish in the top. So it'll be exciting. Excellent. And we're about ready to go back to the main stage where Ali Krasny will kick off our second right, puzzling everyone, event. Is everyone ready to puzzle? That was better than this morning. Great job, you guys. Okay. We are going to do the countdown. All right. We're going to, as soon as I say go, open your puzzle, open your bags. So. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, puzzle. All right. I don't know if you can see the puzzle very well there yet. Everybody, you know, immediately opens and and just gets that bag they're open and they make it check it. I see a yep. lot of checking bags to make sure they're not leaving a piece in there before right. they throw it on the exactly. floor. That's a that's good a, pointer that's for you. Definitely. But yeah, so this is our next puzzle. I don't know. We'll we'll show it here shortly on the screen for you. Here we go. Um, too, it's called Plentiful Produce. <laughs> so earlier today, we had we had uh, Fiesta time. There it is, Plentiful Produce, very colorful, full of healthy foods, so fruits and <laughs> vegetables there for you. You're gonna, they're gonna get their veggies today. They're gonna get their eight servings. Yes, they <laughs> Just are. from puzzling this puzzle. So yeah, we're excited to see how this one's gonna go. What do you think, Jeff? What are your first thoughts? 
they had talked about busy puzzles. The uh, mm-hmm. the first one was busy. This one is busy. So definitely mm-hmm. the the food theme yeah, yeah. is going on here. So I guess we can only imagine what the third preliminary I mean, puzzle I might be. I can't say anything. We'll right? see. We'll see. But <laughs> um, boy, uh, there's a bunch of different greens. There's broccolis and yeah, uh, lettuce a lot of color. But like you green. said, it's busy at the same time. I, I think one helpful little bit though is that some of the colors are kind of grouped. Like the lemons there, you got kind of a big pile of yellow. So it's not right. like their lemons are all over. They're kind of in one spot. But we do have some y- mm-hmm. yellow peppers up yep. here, and looks like almost like tomatoes. Yeah, we have a few more. Yeah. Over here, there's reds that are kind of scattered throughout because mm-hmm. we have different peppers. Yep. Um, it is a pretty tomatoes. busy puzzle. Yeah. I would say even b- busier than the mm-hmm. first one. Yeah, it is a little busy. I think my strategy looking at this would be, so you see those lines running across with the shelves? Yeah. I think we're going to see some people pick those out and put those together first and then kind of build off of those. That would be my guess. You know, we've got a couple of weird... You know, there's like this little tan bit kind of right behind the shelf, almost like a little dead space. Like that could actually be pretty distinct to pull out from the other pieces. Right. So that might go together kind of quickly. Are the these, cutting board in the corner is unique. Maybe apples, right? Yep, these there's, jar, mm-hmm. there's jars mainly on Jar-lids, the top row. Yep. I think a lot of people will start with the edge because, again, this is a pretty distinctive edge puzzle. The top edge is going to yeah, be tough, I was though, just going to say, maybe... it's black and jars. Maybe we'll <laughs> yeah, get some the of these white lids yep. in there, but, yeah, yep. that's going to be pretty tough. There's a There's little a variation big... in the lids. You know, some of them look a little different, but it, that, that top edge might be challenging for and folks. This, the bottom edge should be pretty easy. Yeah, bottom I edge and the sides, I think, are going to well, be pretty easy. Yeah, I would expect some of those shelf there. lines to go together. It's so funny because I'm... I'm hesitant to talk too loudly about strategy because as we were interviewing people from the last round, it's so quiet in here that they're all like, oh, yeah, we could hear you. On the we, <laughs> we could hear you guys talking in the corner. I'm like, am I giving pointers? Like, right. I gotta be careful. <laughs> I might be telling somebody, like, this is what That's I would do. And they're right. like, oh, good idea. I think right, I'll do that, right. too. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I haven't really studied these images. Um, so right. it's fun to look at it now and then think about that, the strategy eyes, around it. Fr- exactly. You know, fresh perspective. Right, yeah. So I definitely think, um, you know, it'll be fun to see. Definitely get in the comments, folks, and tell and us, you know, like, hey, Karen what, what you think from Karen Puzzles is going right to happen here. with Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, in the on the main camera. Oh, there. yep, you can see Karen puzzles there. Yep, she's, she's really going going through sorting. It mm-hmm. looks like everything's been flipped yep. over. Yeah, so that's something we did mention on the last one. So a good flip time. So I know people at home are probably like, "What? <laughs> There's <laughs> such a thing as a good flip time?" But it is something to work on. You want to think about like, what are just little things I can do to shave time off? Opening the box, having a means of getting the box open as quickly as possible, and just kind of a routine of it, so that you you aren't fumbling around like, "How do how do I do this?" <laughs> you know, and get nervous. So you, you know, practicing that, getting the box open quickly, getting the bag open open quickly checking for any pieces to make sure you don't throw one away by accident and then the flip so a lot of people initially they do a flip and they kind of grab the edges out as they're flipping and you know I think one of the uh, judges who's here actually Andrew Bradburn was the first one who I heard he timed his flip and he would say, well, I've kind of learned that I, I need to do it in under four minutes. And then, then I know it's kind of a fast flip. Right. And I know a lot of people are like around that time. So it's like if they can get it done in about three and a half minutes or so, they feel like, okay, that's a pretty good flip and grab the edge time. So people They're do get that do. minute about it. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. right. Well, the, you, you yep. take every little piece and break every little action yes, and break right, it down right now we're just over five minutes into mm-hmm. the competition it will mm-hmm. last two hours mm-hmm. our top finishers mm-hmm. from the preliminary mm-hmm. uh, first preliminary round was 20, uh, 46 minutes and 50 seconds right and that was kathy reuter mm-hmm. followed just three seconds later by sarah schuler at mm-hmm. 46 53 yep and so it was um it was very close it on was. those first yeah. Uh, first two. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if this is a faster puzzle. I, It might be. I don't know, though. It's kind of tough because, like you said, it's a bit of a jumble. So it it might be faster. I don't know. This is a kind of hard one to call, yeah, I feel it like. It is. So we'll, we'll see. But regardless 
of the times of the first preliminary, just the 33 fastest of this batch of 100 will move on to the final mm -hmm. on Friday, on su uh, Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. This is now Friday afternoon here, San Diego time. Mm -hmm. so Somebody predicted 51.39. This one looks harder, they okay, said. That so that will be, be interesting. About five minutes. Yeah, It'll longer just than under the other five one. Minutes. Yep. Somebody also said they're watching. Good luck from Brazil to Karen. So right. somebody from Karen, from Brazil is a fan and, and wishing her luck. Yeah, it's really this fun. This one is like pure chaos. <laughs> <laughs> There's a comment there. The bottles look easy to orient. Yep. Somebody's rooting for table 12. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is great. There's lots of people in the comments. We're excited. You're all joining us and engaging in what's happening and, and giving us your, your opinions. So keep it coming. But yeah, somebody said it reminds them of a Springbok. I do feel like these, I mean, Springbok likes to do food puzzles. I okay. feel like they have a real lock on the food puzzle market. Okay. <laughs> so Robinsburg are making yep. a strong run, though, here. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. Well, yeah, and these are custom puzzles. So we actually helped them pick these images. I wanted yeah. to ask you yeah. then how your collaboration with Robinsburger. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, wound yeah. up with the nine puzzles, yeah. different puzzles that yeah. are going to be used well, throughout they, the weekend. They were a main sponsor in 2022, and we worked a lot with them. We did another event called Origins in Columbus, Ohio, and we had a big t tournament there that they helped us with, and that was like a convention, so that was kind of a different experience, um, and it, that was really fun. And so we've done a lot of stuff with them now, and they really kind of know how the competition stuff works and you know they do worlds and so they have all this background you know on it so they came to us really early and we're like let's let's work together let's to do all unpublished and you know you can even help us talk about which artists you know you, you, that you think people would enjoy and and kind of what we would want to feature and that kind of thing so so it's been a real privilege because we've had the opportunity to like talk to them about what makes a good puzzle and you know we'll suggest some images or like here's some ideas they kind of gave us a catalog to choose All from right. of po possible images and then you know we would pick some and sometimes they'd be like well <laughs> <laughs> so we worked with them on it and they're the experts you know they know what what people enjoy from you know what are popular with in the marketplace and that right, kind of thing right. so they do research yeah on yep. that and, and we'll have no one of the team members from robinsburg are joining us a little bit robin yates and she's been the one that we've coordinated with a lot on this that part of it so so she can talk about that certainly mm -hmm. so i did the math and there is going to uh robinsburger has donated 800 puzzles for the competition yeah there's nine different puzzles but the teams do two puzzles mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but the end of it, the uh the team final is only 50 teams right, right? exactly so yeah. yep. that will still be a hundred puzzles yeah. so there's eight competitions yeah. but i mean even more than that really because they also um you know give us a few extra here and there oh, for cool. things and then they uh also did prizes you know right. so of course but yeah. i just mean for yeah the no right for the actual competition yeah right being yeah used donated the, yeah yeah it's incredible yes. it's so funny because they had a they have a room all to themselves here in the hotel <laughs> and we were like do we put like giant police tape like no <laughs> no <laughs> entering not, yeah because that's where they kept all the puzzles and oh. it was just full of boxes it was just to the right. ceiling with boxes and boxes in the, yeah in the hotel they have a big team here and they have been hard at work because one of the things that's different this year from the last time we held nationals is that their packaging is different they've gotten rid of the the plastic wrapper on the outside and they've made the boxes a little smaller and now they're using stickers so in order to not have everybody here trying to open with sharp objects these like stickers they all sat in a room yesterday and literally every puzzle took out cut the stickers put them in the right bags and got them all packed up for the weekend so wow. yeah that was a long day <laughs> <laughs> and of course they were like oh i'm so worried we're gonna like miss stickers on one of the boxes right, and then some right. poor person will struggle to get it open but oh. so far so good we haven't had that happen and they've been doing an amazing job and yeah they're just great to work with they have a huge booth here and they're going to be yes, selling all these puzzles and a lot of the puzzles after this weekend will be available via the website to purchase so if folks out there are like i want to do these puzzles and try my speed out you'll get I, an opportunity i was just over there and they have a big board 
-hmm. and they have prelimi individual preliminary number one. They have oh, blanks yeah. for all of the competitions, okay. and they mm -hmm. even say what time they're going to be unveiled oh, and go on yeah, sale yeah, and yeah. the price of the puzzle. Oh, wow. Okay. So you're you're well-researched, uh, Jeff. That's awesome. First, so I assume they mm -hmm. have the second one up now because yeah, we just Yeah, they probably do. It, yeah, we so just they probably the second it. one out of the back and stuck mm -hmm. it on the shelves. So that was really mm -hmm. fun that they're yeah. okay. As we yep. unveil them and the yep. competitors, it's like, okay, mm -hmm. they're going up for sale. Yep, yep. And they're bringing some artists here this weekend for people to get puzzles you know, signed and to meet them and to do Q&As and all of that good stuff. So there's an actual Robinsberger panel tonight that people here right. can attend and, and ask questions and learn more about the manufacturing process and all that good stuff. So I was just kind of looking and trying to do a little cross, cross reference who some of the uh, competitors are uh, that are nationally ranked who are taking part in this. And the highest ranked competitor in this second preliminary round is Andrea Peng. She's second in the nation. Of course, Lauren Kautz was in, uh, the number one ranked player in the U.S. She was in the last competition and she finished uh, I think fourth. I don't have the list of the of the first mm -hmm. set of winners in oh, front of us. Oh, I can pull us. it up, yeah. So mm -hmm. I know we're Oops, sorry. trying to keep track of the <laughs> it's live a lot stream of, comments I know, we're looking well. at like 20 different things here. Okay, yeah. she finished third, so yeah, it was Lauren, Kathy yeah. Reuter, yep. Sarah Schuler, Lauren Kautz, yep. and then Abby Patno from San mm -hmm. Diego here finished yeah. fourth. So anyway that uh mm -hmm. very exciting finish mm -hmm. there on that first one and we're hoping it's going to be an exciting finish here yeah in the of Could course it be closer than three seconds between I, first and i second? mean if you want to give the judges a heart attack yeah <laughs> i think that makes judges a little nervous because you're like i don't want to screw this up and write down the wrong time or it something it worked out that they were <laughs> uh Kathy and Sarah were at the same table yeah, next that, to each yeah, other. Yeah, they were right next to each other. So that helped. You could physically just see the one get it done just before the other person. That was amazing. Um, one of the other things uh, I was just thinking about is um, that uh, we're going to have, yeah, just again, this front row right in front of us of just all these like fast puzzlers. And it's... It's just really exciting. I know it's, so, I wish everybody who is watching could just be here, <laughs> but I can't believe how quiet it is in here. I just keep thinking about, wow, you know, this is, I'm like a little bit, uh, you know, just don't even want to talk too loud. I'm worried right. I'm disturbing. <laughs> well, we, and we heard about that. Yeah. That they, People were listening. Earlier, yeah. That the puzzlers. It's just like a library in here right now. It's just, you hear <laughs> rustling and, um, and there's lots of spectators and even the spectators are like whispering right. to each other. Nobody's, you know, it's not very rowdy. I should say mm -hmm. not a yeah. rowdy crowd. You're right. Maybe by the end of the weekend, that'll change. I did notice at Worlds, you know, Worlds is like a five-day event. It's a, you know, it's oh, a haul because right, there's right. just so many competitors. And, you know, the first few days, a little quieter. But, man, by that last day, spectators are, like, yelling out, you know, hey, go so-and-so, <laughs> oh. you know, and just, like, yelling for their, their favorites. And it got really rowdy. And, and like Sarah mentioned earlier, we interviewed Sarah Schuler in the first live stream today. She was like, well, sometimes you didn't know what was going on because the audience was so into it that they would start clapping as somebody was getting close to right, finishing. In yet. anticipation, they were like, yeah, go. Oh, you know, and so it was confusing to puzzlers because they would think, oh, no, somebody just finished because everybody's clapping. Right, but right. in reality, it was because they were just excited to see somebody get there, you know, and right, finish. Right. They're so, cheering them on. Right. Maybe. Cheering them on. Exactly. So it can get confusing. But, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if by the end of the weekend, the crowd here gets a little looser, <laughs> a little more rowdy at these things. Um, it, but it is a different environment. I feel like every competition you go to can be different. Different, you know, where you might go somewhere and it's in a big gymnasium. And it's kind of a loud space and people brought their kids and it's just a little more chaotic. Right, and then, you right. you know, go to other competitions and it's very quiet. You know, it just really can be different from venue to venue. A lot of people wear headphones and you'll see that a lot. If you're looking around the room and you're seeing all these puzzles, you'll notice a lot of people wearing headphones because maybe right. the music keeps them going. Right. 
and helps them stay on pace. So we'll have to yeah, ask mm-hmm. some folks about yeah, that. Yeah, we will. Because so far today, all the people we talked to, it sound like just didn't wear headphones. Just, were, you know, right. we're... we're it, oh, Sarah! Even. Hello from Zimbabwe. Oh my Look goodness. at that! That's fantastic. Denise cut Germany. Oh, look at that! People awesome. from all over the world. That's so exciting. We're so glad to have all of you yes. on here. Oh, somebody just said, "Do you have to be American to compete?" And so, yes, with this one. Um, I mean, there are people who have dual citizenship, so they're obviously allowed. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, they're obviously allowed, but for uh, since it's the U.S. National Championships, you do have to be an American citizen to, you know, compete and represent. Part of that is because if you win here, we're giving some pretty big cash prizes in the hopes that the folks who uh, take first will move on to uh, compete in Spain in September at the Worlds. So the first place individual today uh, for the weekend, sorry, on, on Sunday, Sunday, is going to get a $1,500 cash prize. Uh, the first place in pairs, they'll get a $2,000 cash prize. So to split between the two people. And then a first place team will get a $3,000 cash prize. So we're hoping they use that money <laughs> to buy their ticket <laughs> and go Spain. to Spain. Yeah. So it's looking like Robin can join us. So we'll have her come on over okay. and tell us what she thinks. Oh, yeah, okay. Sure, yeah, okay. Um, oh, yeah, we can turn that one on. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I know, we're all talking quiet. Oh, okay. All right, sorry. We're not live, but yeah. Okay. Okay. I think they're all on. All right. We're like whispering over here. That's I know. <laughs> they could hear us. They told us they heard us when we were talking in the okay. first preliminary. Okay. Yeah. So all we were right. just telling Rob, and we're all like trying to talk really quietly because <laughs> hopefully it's not a problem for you listening. It's not so quiet. It's maybe a little ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Go for it, Rob. <laughs> Do your best whisper voice. <laughs> so Robin Yates, you're the Robinsberger Marketing Manager of Puzzles, Arts, and Crafts. Yes. Yes, that is correct. What does that How, mean? Yeah. That right. means a whole lot of really exciting things in my day to day life. Mm-hmm. Um, I get to work with the puzzle community a lot, mm-hmm. especially the USAJPA <laughs> for nationals, <laughs> other speed puzzle competitions. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of it is about community management, but also mm-hmm. um, digital marketing and just um, coordinating new product launches so the right people who are excited about our products know where to find our products. Okay, cool. How long have you been with Robin's Burger? Um, a little over two years. Which is crazy, because we just found this out the other day that she started, and it was like a couple months later that we connected with her for the first time, and we mm-hmm. had no idea she had just started. <laughs> and, and then us puzzle nerds come in, and we're like, so? We're Tell doing us this everything. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, we love working with Robin. She's awesome. So yeah, yeah, tell us a little bit about like the custom puzzle thing because um, you know this is a custom puzzle, mm-hmm. and there was a lot of speculation out there, including in one of Karen's video. I wonder if they'll use custom puzzles for preliminary rounds. So tell me what that means. Yes. Yeah, so for this competition, we wanted never before seen images mm-hmm. and. In order to make sure we had enough images, some of them we had to source uh, from stock photos. Mm -hmm. But our lovely product manager, Rachel, um, she went in and looked at each individual sort of fruit and vegetable and like (laughs) made sure it was very clear and sharp and brightened it up a little bit to make sure it was puzzle worthy. Mm -hmm. Um, And we did that for Fiesta time as well, making sure it was nice bright and crisp. Um, I remember we were going through images with Rachel and you and mm -hmm. we were like, what about this? And what about this? And then Rachel would look at it and go, no, that's not going to work. Yeah. We had a couple contenders Mm -hmm. that didn't work out actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause you guys are really meticulous about it needs to be a super crisp image. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, And so with the custom puzzles, those are produced here in the United States, right? You, so you have a means of getting no, them? No, actually, or are they they're all, all from Germany, Germany too? So we oh, have, they are. Okay. Um, 
So we have two different things. We have our custom photo puzzles mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. people can mm -hmm. upload anything they'd like. So mm -hmm. like a family photo or a collage oh, or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they can order it. It's a little different packaging than our traditional puzzles. Okay. But this was actually done through our special sales team oh, where we do okay. mm -hmm. um, limited runs of mm -hmm. puzzles. Okay. But it's a larger quantity. Okay. So people can still potentially get this puzzle, right? To practice with at home? Yes. It, so yeah. these puzzles will be available starting Monday okay. on Ravensburger.com as a mm -hmm. U.S. exclusive only. Okay. And also two of them will be at, at Barnes & Noble as well, which is very oh, exciting. Yeah, at the end of so the So at your local, of, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's exciting. You had mentioned Fiesta time, so we didn't say that that was the name of the first puzzle then officially, mm -hmm. I don't believe. Yeah, yeah. And this one is Plentiful Produce, yes. which it yeah. certainly is. <laughs> so We love alliteration. <laughs> I noticed that, uh, which I love too, mm -hmm. so that's perfect. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just easier to remember it rolls off the tongue it's more yep. memorable it yep. sounds cooler yes. you know so that's awesome <laughs> um so what do you think about for the puzzlers working on this what you know break yeah. this What's down the strategy, if you were, Robin? yeah what okay you so you've seen I, a lot of these i contests. feel like mm -hmm. the greens will come together oh, easily but there's a lot mm -hmm. of like oranges and reds mm -hmm. that are probably the more difficult part to mm -hmm. sort out because there's different fruits that are mm -hmm. red um yeah. but Hopefully the shelving should be pretty easy, mm -hmm. and yeah. um, the yellows and the greens I think will be the easiest. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that, and it's weird. It, it depends on every individual. I feel like you have a color you're drawn to that you want to do first. <laughs> For some people, it's blues and greens. Mm -hmm. Some people, it's red, you know, or mm -hmm. pink, bright pink. I tend to be a red pink person. That's what I go for immediately. So yeah, I think we're going to see when we start to get a little further down the road here and people have more of the puzzle together, we'll start to see those patterns where it's like, oh yeah, they started and they did all the green stuff or they did all the mm -hmm. red stuff. And you'll kind of see that emerge. Now that you're like doing this for your job, <laughs> <laughs> Did you puzzle much before that, or are you puzzling more now? Or is I definitely the same? puzzle more now because I focus on the little Easter eggs and the details mm -hmm. um, to like story tell to people about the little things they can find, um, and I definitely I feel like I have a different perspective for puzzling now um, because before it was for fun, but now it's for work <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was going to say, are you even allowed to do other companies or do you just have to do Robinson? No, we're do allowed. Just, yeah. Competitor research. Yeah, I was just going to say. Sure, I guess, yeah, that, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So you'd have to do that. Um, yeah, so also I wanted to ask you about just like you've gone to a lot of these events um you've done more puzzle competitions and that kind of thing mm -hmm. so what's your impression thus far of how how the competitors are doing i feel like everyone is in the zone i see a lot of people with their mm -hmm. earbuds in or mm -hmm. airpods and i feel like this maybe is a little quieter than mm -hmm. others mm -hmm. Um, this is super serious for intense, people. It, right? it really yeah. is the sort of pivotal moment for these people. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, yeah, go ahead. So do you think the times will be a little faster on plentiful produce hmm. compared to fiesta time? Or do you think they'll do be able to do this one quicker? And I just ask that because fiesta time took longer than earlier predictions and suspicions were you know it turned out to be a little harder mm. maybe than people thought so what's I your feel like this is pretty equivalent so mm -hmm. when we were selecting the mm -hmm. images they were supposed to be on par so the preliminary yeah. rounds were sort of even e somewhat yeah. yeah I do know yeah we were intentional about that we yes. didn't want it to be like one of the preliminaries had this horribly hard puzzle that you know would trip people up. I mean, ultimately you want as many people as possible to finish so that they have that sense of satisfaction. And it was like, worth you know, trip from yeah, across the country exactly. or something like that. Right, yeah, because for some folks, you know, now they're done after this, in, as an individual, they're done after this one because only 33 people advanced to the next round. So yeah, you want them to feel like it was an accomplishment in itself and worth it. And, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how it all shakes out. 
some soul crushing all black or something that's <laughs> just shape sorting the entire puzzle I mean, except it's, for the edge that could be a separate happened. competition yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we've had a lot of people in the comments. A lot of people on Twitch actually are fans of Scruff. He's on on there right now. I remember in 2022, Jeff, the comments were all, show us Scruff. How is Scruff doing? <laughs> and we were all like, who's Scruff? Yeah. <laughs> and we find out he's a big Twitch gamer, and he also just likes to do puzzles. So there he is. So those oh, of nice. you wondering what, what he's been up to and how he's doing, there he's on That's camera on right, right now. now. He, yep. So he's got his hair pulled back. Yep. In the I asked him if, you know, I, I talked to him a little bit and I said, well, do you think you'd want to, you know, pop by the live stream? And he said, if I finish, <laughs> <laughs> okay. that's the hard part, right? Like if you want to come and sit with us, you got to finish in the two hours. Right. Um, but yeah, we wish everybody the best of luck in getting through it and getting finished because it's a great feeling. Yeah. We're at 26 and a half minutes in right now. Mm -hmm. So we have about an hour, 33 mm -hmm. and 30 seconds left. So we're about a quarter of the way there. So the first mm -hmm. finishers would have finished in the first preliminary in exactly 20 yeah. minutes from now. Yeah, about mm -hmm. 20 minutes. And right now from you're seeing right Mike Helland. He's a Minnesota uh, puzzler. And I've actually known Mike for years. He was in the Wicker Kittens documentary that I was in. And he was, uh, he's been another one that we talked about, uh, Mary Carty earlier. He also did the Hallmark Championships back in the 80s. Oh, he oh, did wow. And he was one of the top competitors back then. And so he is incredibly fast puzzler and been doing this a long time. <laughs> he, I tease him kind of because, you know, he used to always be in the top. And he does really well, but he's not like, you know finishing in the top six or you know getting and he's like now you gotta start a senior division so that some of us people have been doing this a while have a chance you know because i think when you get older it gets harder with the eyesight thing and you especially know especially the eyesight yeah, yeah. right as like i that's, can attest to exactly me too yeah <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, no, so Mike, we wish him the best of luck. It's fun that he's here. He wasn't here in 2022, so I'm glad he was able to come and, and join us for this one. But he's on a team that is a contender. Like, his team does really well. I think they got, like, second or third at Winter Carnival, which is the biggest competition in the country where we had a lot of really good players at that, and he did really well. So he's still... You know, he's maybe a little older, but he's still one to watch he's out still, for. He's still a competitor. He does, yeah, he's still a top competitor. A, I, oh, and there's Kim Kenny. I just saw her on screen as okay. well. So, mm -hmm. uh, and so Andrea Payne. Oh, number yeah. Two in the US. Yes, yeah. Um, and then yeah. see, Jeannie Reuter. Mm -hmm. Her sister won the first prelim, so now the pressure's mm -hmm. on to mm -hmm. keep it in the family to win two, <laughs> of, to win exactly. the, the two that they're entered in. We yep, have... Yep. Um, Andrea Kyle, mm -hmm. who's ranked 17th in the mm -hmm. U.S., and then down here. Uh, yep, E.B. E. Karen, yep. She's 28, yep. but a very serious mm -hmm. contender. Her team won mm -hmm. the te team mm -hmm. in 2022, yep. and she uh, did strong showings in the yeah. other. And Andrea Peng actually is the top puzzler uh, in the U.S. That at the world level. Like when we went to Worlds in 2023, she, she finished in the, I think she, like, fourth i think in the world and that was the highest that anybody from the any world american. Uh, yeah any american did at that contest so so definitely yeah andrea pang is incredibly fast and do those count into these rankings the worlds yeah we do use those we do use those uh times time. yeah so to, that's to factor into ranking why she's, yep. up, she's number two exactly yeah yeah but yeah she's incredibly fast and it's she usually competes with her daughter, Clara. They do pairs, and they also did really well and placed at Worlds in the pairs. And so, but I don't believe Clara was able to come okay. this weekend, oh. so she's going to have a different partner in pairs. But, oh. but yeah, she is definitely one to keep an eye on, and I'm sure they'll be showing us Andrew quite a bit. And so there's we're almost at the 30-minute mark, and you mm -hmm. can see, you know, a lot of puzzlers. Oh, there's Karen. Edges puzzles are coming Karen. together yeah, for and a she, lot of people. Yep. And she did that top edge, which we were kind of wondering if that was going to be tough because it was all those jar lids mm -hmm. yeah. and, and wondering looked, if that was going to work. Like a big bunch of uh, yeah. this lettuce mm -hmm. maybe she has done. over. You can see a few things. Yeah, she's got some she greens has, going yep, there. Yep. As you had mentioned. Yeah, good, good call, Robin. Yeah. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> Boy, you're like a pro at this puzzle stuff. <laughs> I'm in the puzzle I mean, yeah. she does know a thing or two about a thing or two. <laughs> she so. is puzzling every day, one way or the other. <laughs> one right? way or the other. Yes. Work or yeah. 
No, well, thanks so much for joining yeah, us for this. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, really well, and thanks to, be here. to Robinsberger for sponsoring the live stream and just <laughs> everything. We're so excited and glad you got to join us on the live stream yeah, for a little thank bit. Thank you for having us. We're yeah. always happy to be here and mm -hmm. doing the special puzzles. Mm -hmm. It was super exciting for us. Yeah. Oh, I know. I'm just excited for the rest of the weekend. I want everybody to see the puzzles. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait. One at a time. I know. Exactly. One at a time. <laughs> one yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Yep. Sure. That's probably what we should do. Let's do that. So. And then you could come on. Yep. Okay. So I'll have Ali jump in during the app block. Okay. So we'll do the. Uh, okay. Oh, Jeff. quick break and so go to yep, our ad block here in a right moment yep at, exactly so we're going to hear some uh from some more of our wonderful sponsors without whom this competition and live stream wouldn't be possible but don't go away because as soon as we come back we're going to give you another keyword to enter on our website to win a uh, live stream raffle prize i'm jeff whittle along with valerie coit mm -hmm. And we'll be back soon when we're live from the USA Jigsaw Nationals in San Diego. Mm -hmm. From the moment that we met, you're worth the wait. Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know. And welcome back, everyone, and thanks for joining us on the live stream of the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association 2024 Nationals. And quickly, I want to offer viewers a chance to win a prize here. Folks at home can head over to usajigsaw.org, click on the live stream prize banner, fill out the entry form, and enter keyword champion for a chance to win some amazing prizes. The keyword again is champion, and we're gonna announce the winners of the live stream raffle and prizes this Sunday afternoon during our closing ceremonies, which we will broadcast right here from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. And now I would like to welcome to the dais, if we can call it that, uh, USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association co-founder and board member, Allie Krasny, who we've been seeing on stage, and now she's here. What's going on, Allie? Um, you know, just doing uh, some puzzle stuff. Um. <laughs> 
I've just been uh, walking around trying to get a pulse on, on what's going on uh, with this puzzle compared to the last puzzle, see what people think. Um, and it looks like this one is maybe a similar difficulty. I don't know if that's what you and Val have kind of... Um, we did. We mm -hmm. just talked to Robin, and she said, you know, that they had tried to pick puzzles, you know, for the prelims that were pretty similar in mm -hmm. difficulty. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking that yeah. you did a good job on this? I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, we... Um, this one, something interesting about it is when we first had this image... It was maybe a little bit darker, especially up towards the top, uh, so it wasn't quite as bright. So they had to do some things to, to brighten it up and make the, the bottles and things uh, more distinct so that uh, it wouldn't be quite uh, too difficult. But we really liked it because, again, I told you I love a theme. And uh, it's San Diego's very healthy place, and this is a lot of very healthy food. So we, and it's very colorful. Everyone loves a colorful puzzle. Uh, they might not love it right now, right. but um, it's uh, yeah. It, we thought it was a really pretty image, and um, hopefully people want to do it again after this. <laughs> right, exactly, and of course. Um, Robin Yates from Robin's Burger mm -hmm. was telling mm -hmm. us these will go on sale on the website on Monday. Yeah. And they will, they're probably already on sale over there now. Did you see Robin's so. Burger has the board with all the competitions? And as we unveil the first, the uh, Fiesta time, boom, that went up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's already on sale. It's been stocked on the shelves. And nice. I'm sure now that it's been 37 minutes into this competition, this one's, there's already been some sold yeah, here I'm already. Sure. Mm -hmm, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Well, and you know what's cool? Um, you talked about the live stream, um, the live stream sweepstakes. One of the prizes, uh, I don't know if you actually know this, one of the prizes is a bundle of all of the individual puzzles. So one of the winners for the live stream sweep sweepstakes will get all three of the prelims and the finals puzzle. Um, so that'll be one of those and prizes. We thought people would like that. That is very nice. And that's more than $100 yeah, retail yeah, on that yeah, as well. Yeah, so absolutely. We, we had said that there's 800 puzzles being used for the 800 competitions, mm -hmm. um, for eight competitions, I should say, uh, and nine different puzzle designs throughout mm -hmm. the weekend yes, because yeah. there's two for the team exactly and yeah one each for the other seven competitions yeah yeah and it was tricky for the teams figuring out how to deal with the the two images again last time we had people one of them was uh we had the two 1000 piecers uh and then the 1500 the, the piece and so we put 1000 one piece by itself and that was the one to start with and then the right. thousand after that the thousand and the 15 were in the same bag so we knew how to how to tell people this is the one to do first oh, second third okay. this right. time since they're both the same size we we're like how do we handle that so robinsberger came up with a really great little easy system just um color stickers on the bags and that way we know who gets what because our worst fear was someone today gets like a team's puzzle or something right. like that <laughs> so yeah so we had to figure all of that out right it's one and of the few moving pieces <laughs> <laughs> right. So when you're out on the floor, did it, what did it look like folks were, you know, doing first or how, what kind of progress were they making on That's the puzzle? That's a good question. I feel like I saw the broccoli done quite a bit. Um, couple, but I saw a lot of kind of sorted, um, I think maybe by color and um, maybe kind of the more, the outer things, maybe the, the bottles, and the first and second shelves there might end up being... Um, fairly difficult uh, maybe that's where people will end so we'll see but I did see um, people like Becca Andrea Peng Karen Sammy Eby Gail McCormick they were all doing really well and Andrea uh, especially um, was interesting because she's puzzling uh, with no shoes on uh, <laughs> kneeling on her chair <laughs> so, so I hope that's comfortable <laughs> I say that but when I puzzle I'm a taller puzzler and I lean mm -hmm. over and I'm in like a C shape when I'm puzzling. Well, right, so, exactly. Uh, I don't think that's better. You're really hunched over. Yeah. So, right, right. That may may be better for the posture to do it the mm -hmm. way she's mm -hmm. doing it. I guess that's a, I hadn't really heard of that no, technique no. before, that yeah. position, puzzling position. Yeah. Well, that's one of our, our very first virtual competition that we did, um, we came upon a puzzler named Michaela Keener. She might even be watching. And we're looking at the videos on the Zoom, the virtual competition, and we see someone in like a yoga squat 
on their table doing their puzzle. <laughs> and we're like, what is going on here? And we're like, well, it's interesting. And we kind of brushed it off. And then she won. <laughs> so not only is she super fast, but she can do it in style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. And super nice, of course, too. Oh, so, that's yeah. great. That's great. Yeah. So we're at 40 minutes, 40 seconds in. Oh, wow. So the first, in the first preliminary, mm -hmm. um, Kathy Reuter finished in 46.50. Okay. So we, and it just hit 40.50. So okay. we could be, could be within six minutes of the okay. first finals here. Right. And of course, as you know, Sarah Schuler finished only three seconds oh behind her. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. That was amazing. So we will, uh, we'll, we might be getting close. I don't know, yeah. but... It gets so nerve-wracking. Lo looking around, I don't, I don't, you know, it, from what I can see, and yeah. you know, they're sh they're doing a great. The camera crew is doing a great job of showing, you know, a, a variety of people. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I haven't really gotten the sense that folks are like Getting imminently close. close. Yeah, so this may turn out to be. I think we have most <laughs> of the fast ones here. I think maybe Eb over there um, is a little further away, but she's. Um, you know, I think she was a similar speed to, to Becca and Andrea last I checked. Okay. But, um, yeah, it's, it gets really nerve wracking at the, as we get closer because, you know, the puzzlers think it's scary for them because they don't know what's happening and, and are they going to finish, you know, uh, where are they going to finish? And for us, we're terrified of missing it because like you said, some people finished three seconds apart from each other. It's terrifying <laughs> we don't want to miss it it's important that we get it right so. right right exactly. um, it helped we, we realized um it was kind of nice that we had all the virtual competitions uh in the past because through those we kind of got a little bit of trial and error before doing something this big and one of the things that we learned was telling people to take their hands off when they're done because we there was one where we had someone who said done but we they were still like that last piece was was in but not quite in they weren't trying to cheat they just thought they were right, done right, right and um it makes it so much more visible you know just hands up like okay that person you know <laughs> So it helps. Um, we we yeah. told Kathy Reuter she has to make noise too. Absolutely. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm all about. She was so to she me. was so quiet. Yeah. You know, she's like. Val can tell you that anytime we do we do puzzle club, and we do raffle prizes every month for our members, um, which is a great member perk. Um, but for the raffle prizes, I I tell people I say once we draw their name, I say if we announce your name, you have to unmute and say woohoo. Otherwise, you don't win. Oh, good. So I'm all about having them make noise. <laughs> so tell us quickly about mm -hmm. the uh, membership joining the yeah. Jigsaw so the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association membership. We have an annual membership. It's twenty four dollars a year. We upped it a little while ago from uh, fifteen dollars right. a year. Um, because all of our members told us we should. Yeah, I know. I heard that right? the last one. We were like, okay, were like a, yes. sure. Um, but it, we've, we've tried hard to really give enough value for something. You know, it's a small membership, but you get things like for the World Championship. If you're going to Worlds, we, we're the liaison we deal with. You pay us and we pay them because otherwise you used to have to wire transfer, which is just like for $24, if you don't have to deal with the fees and the headache, done right, but right. then you also get exclusive um, access you get early access to sign up for our events so for this event we had the first week was members only that could sign up we sold out in two days so only members got to do this um, we also have a traveling puzzle program so every every month we have a set of puzzles some speed puzzles some casual puzzles that people can sign up for and they go out and it's sort of like chain mail you know this person does it sends it to the next person so they get to try different brands and stuff we have sponsors we work with and then we also have puzzle club it's kind of like book club everyone mm -hmm. does you know does the same activity and and talks about it but we're doing a zoom call and everyone calls in with the same puzzle and and speeds it and it's a casual competition we call it um so it's a way to get practice in talk to other people about strategies just get to integrate it into the community and that's every month and there's raffle prizes every month for it um those are a few of the big ones <laughs> wow but there's we we try to pack in a lot for yeah, the for 24 dollars yeah. a year <laughs> two dollars a month so. yeah, right. exactly <laughs> yeah so we try to make it so that if you even use like one of the main benefits it's worth it worth so yeah and now we have over 1500 members we started may 2020 and we have over 1500 members um 
in 2024. Wow, 1,500. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So we're past the 45-minute mark. Okay. Do we think we're within a, a minute of anyone, or this is definitely going to be a slower puzzle? I guess it's going to be slower. We should have brightened up that shelf a little more. <laughs> uh, Photoshop yeah. or something mm -hmm, equivalent. Mm -hmm. When we were looking for some of these, so um, I'm not sure if you talked about that. These are custom um, images that we, we got. Uh, these aren't the artist images, obviously. And some of the images we were looking at, we didn't, we didn't realize were AI images until we were looking at them. These ones aren't, but some of them were. And they, we, got, we got in closer to the images and we're like, oh, there's like a weird... It's not like a real hand right there or whatever, you know, because AI art is a little funky. Right. right. And so we definitely had to uh, had to pay attention to that. And so they have Karen. Oh, yeah. Karen Puzzles there. She's doing well. She, yeah, but she's not anywhere near being finished, it doesn't look like. Yeah, and I can see Andrea and Becca from here, and they look like maybe they're not too far off. Okay. Yeah. And that's Sammy Brownlow. Sammy, I can't remember her Instagram handle, handle but um, she's pretty active in the community. Her and her, it's her, it's uh, Ma and Pa, I think she talks about them on her Instagram too. They all are puzzlers. Oh, right, right. Um, so, and maybe she's Sa, S A, Sammy, something like that. Like okay. Sa, Ma, Pa. God. I'm sure I'll get corrected soon. <laughs> um, <laughs> But look she's at the great. Yeah, see what comes. Yeah. <laughs> Donde esta 16, someone just asked there. Oh. Uh, is it this way is new or that way is new? I, <laughs> I'm not positive, but 16 this time, uh, table 16 is, is that looks like you? Kevin Collins. Oh, Kevin Collins. Oh, yeah. Hopefully they show Kevin. So Kevin was one of the speedrunners for the Puzzle Twist Intentional Kindness Puzzle. That's the puzzle that we did um, all of the last year and a half since last in Nationals. It's, you get that puzzle, and you can do it over and over again and see how fast you can oh, get it. Right. So I was a crazy person, and I did it um, 60 times. <laughs> and Kevin also was doing it. We were him, myself, and um, Kelly Spoon. Um, the We were all taking turns, you know, going back and forth, trying to beat each other. And so he, we got to know each other well because okay. of that. So um, he's going to be on the speed run panel, actually, um, this weekend. Someone put a, what a great idea, seniors, seniors division, division, because she was talking about, and I forget the name of the gentleman, uh, Valerie, he's, he's from Minnesota, and he was, he w took part in the original Hallmark puzzle. Oh, was there. that Larry or oh, no, oh it, um, yeah, the, the other Larry couldn't make it this time, unfortunately. I know his name. Yeah, so he was over there, and we did see Mike Helland. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mike Helland. Uh, so uh, one of my old teammates, um, Andrew, before he semi-retired, would always <laughs> tell about Mike Helland and him puzzled back in the eighties. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So anyway, they mention oh maybe we should do a seniors division then because of yeah. eyesight and reflexes a little Definitely. slower i agree I think i'd qualify now unfortunately <laughs> but that's life you know we would but love to people ask about this and we're like we'd love to if we had if this were like our job and we had more time and energy we would be all about it right, right. <laughs> exactly no i understand i understand it it's already a full-time job, yet you already have a full-time job. It's, so you have um, a and it's actually not puzzle-related. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and let me say it. Allie's a research scientist, oh. so there's no... Uh, <laughs> I do puzzles at work, but different kinds. How do I find out what the cells look like <laughs> yeah. um, and make sure that it's all good data? So. Someone mentioned here, and like I said, we don't know if the, this at the top. This is this okay. is a disqualification round, and yes, it is. So um, yes, the top thirty-three puzzlers will um, move on to finals. So, um, and then I think maybe you guys talked about that. They're they're thirty-three moving up for each division and a hundred spots, and the final spot goes to Ivan Foyt, who won the championship last year. Right, the individual so. in twenty twenty-two. Mm -hmm. So she got a buy in the first round, kind of, but she's still taking place, taking part yeah. as well. Yeah. So, oh, oh, we're getting close now, so we're at okay. 50, right. 
fifteen, so it's is slower, but we're, we're getting we're close. Gonna, okay, we getting so close. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, and great. Val's gonna come on back. Jump back, back so in with the awesome. with the update. We were just chatting. Yeah. Great to see you again, you too. Allie. Well, I'm sure we'll see you again yeah. here, maybe the next round, if not later. I in love this hanging round. out with you guys. Okay, so that's good awesome. To me. And okay. you get a place to sit down too. Yeah, I love sitting because I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, so Valerie Coit is just about to join us, and she's going to bring us the latest update from the floor where she's been scoping out, and she's going to tell us uh, who is getting close. Who is who is that? Do you know? Oh, well, so, yeah, the reason I, like, gave Allie the, the heave-ho, so to speak, <laughs> is I was like, Allie, you got to get on the floor. She sort of acts like her head judge you know we have William Shandling kind of in that role but we like to have her handy in case there's any weirdness that happens like right. a piece that gets forgotten somebody else done like stuff like that can sometimes happen oh, then yes. you have to make a judgment call and like oh how what do we do now you know people will say done and they don't realize there's a piece that's not in or something like that so so one of us board members we like to be available so that we don't have to put the volunteer in that position of trying to figure out what to do right, so right. she's gone back out onto the floor because we could be getting close to some finishers we're we're looking there okay. you can see i think that's gene reuter i there. was just gonna You're, say she's yes narrowing <laughs> it in yep You're zeroing in i mean the thing that happens is they get just kind of exponentially faster as the puzzle goes because you have fewer pieces that you're trying to choose from to place and then so, fewer places to have to exactly figure out where to put them so as well. it's like they go from having 20 pieces left to having five pieces left in the span of you know 15 20 seconds so it can really happen quickly towards the end so I think we're getting They're close. To I think we're getting close to gather some finishers. Around. Yeah. And Andrea Pang, like I said, she's number two ranked in the U.S. right now. And yes. she was our best finisher at Worlds. And she is really close. I think it's going to be neck and neck between her and Jean, who you're seeing. Jean and that's, Reuter's eighth yeah. in the U.S. U.S. Yep. ranking. So it's something I noticed, though, I was wrong on the shelf thing because it kind of looks like rather than the shelves being done, they're going to be the last bits to oh. go in because I think they're pretty dark. And so people can't necessarily tell what the shelf is. So a lot of people have the line of pieces missing that are the shelf pieces. So I think that's going to actually be towards the end. There's also a lot of green. And so a lot of people have big old piles of dark green pieces okay. that they're having having to, to deal with at the end. Didn't uh, Robin Yates think that the green would actually get put together I think the first? lettuce maybe because it was bright green, Lighter, but there's a yeah. lot of dark green, the and that's kind of the piles, yeah, like that. that people are having left over is the and dark the green peppers. piles. Yep. Know. But, yeah, it's funny because, you know, looking around, I thought, oh, yeah, you know, we're, we're shockingly still a ways away you know because i think i got up and started wandering around the time we finished on the last round so so yeah it's so kind of crazy we're at 53 30 mm -hmm. approximately now Definitely okay a harder there's puzzle. jean mm -hmm. okay she still has 20 yeah, pieces I know. left there's still at least so you know this yeah could be 10 minutes slower than right? her sister who yeah won. Which, you know, again, you can't really compare the times because they're right. different puzzles. But, ju but just to but, yeah. give people an idea that how much exactly. hard, perhaps harder because right. the Reuter sisters right. are just yeah. unbelievably and right. fast. <laughs> exactly. And so. compared to preliminary divisions at Worlds where those were previously released puzzles so people could have done them previously or had an opportunity to practice them you know we were seeing times like 30 minutes you know 35 wow. minutes you know under 40 was like i wouldn't say typical but i mean <laughs> it, but with the top finishers under 40 was the norm right, so to speak right. so now you're here and it's like okay nobody is close yet and we're at you know or they're not done yet and we're at well, almost the 55 minute mark so these puzzles yeah. are harder i think this than and what people yeah, were getting in the I, world preliminaries. I, what I think is, you know, there that was busy, but there mm -hmm. was maybe like twelve mm -hmm. bigger oh, here, fruits and things yeah, like here that. Here we got a split screen with both of them at the same time that All we're getting right. to see here. So that's lovely because you can actually watch them and see, you know, 
can you tell? We had people on the stream at Worlds that were literally counting the pieces and then telling us, oh, yeah, like I counted and they have 40 left and the other person is 35. The, right. <laughs> people were like look, really into it. Look at so these. it does help if you can see them side by side like that to really get a sense, okay, who's it going to be? I think to me, one it's looking the like the, the one on the left yep. Yep, is slightly ahead. There's and I about, think that's. I think it's Jean on the left. I think so. And Andrea on the right. And Andrea, you know, I feel bad because she can hear us. She's right next to the table here. I'm <laughs> sure she's, well, but she might have headphones and she likes to wear headphones and listen okay. to music while she puzzles. So she might be ignoring us. But, but yeah, it's going to be those two, I think, one and two for sure. So Jean looks like she has about 15 pieces yeah, left. Yeah, it's getting there. Or, it's getting down I bet there. But she's putting them in. Yeah, oh, they're so going fast. in they're really going, quick now. She's like down to 10 pieces yeah. or less. It's literally she grabs one, puts it in, grabs one, puts it in. It's just like they're just flying in now. Oh my. So we're so at we're, 56. Mm -hmm. So is she going to. So her sister was 46. 50. Yeah. So she's going to be. So that's just crazy under if 10 the two minutes. of them both win their preliminary division. Uh, Certain, that like they're four a powerhouse. Pieces, four pieces if that left. Happens, Three. Yeah. Two. One. There it is. Oh, there she is. First place. Twenty-five. Yep. Oh nice my work. goodness. Nice work, Jean. And now that's my unofficial Get ready, time. everybody, because they're a pair. <laughs> No wonder they finished 20 minutes ahead of everybody last so are they, year. Right. So are they going to finish? They have to be the favorites to finish I one mean, and two. They are the favorites. The, it, to yes. finish one, two in right. the individual final. But even just before this, before yeah. today, oh, yeah. going into the pairs <laughs> round the tomorrow, pairs, they were yeah. already the favorite because last year they just dominated pairs. Yes, I mean, they, they won did. by, they were minutes ahead of everybody. Um and so now the fact that, yeah, they each place first in their pre preliminary, it's like we're looking at a, a couple of genius puzzlers here in our <laughs> yes, midst that it runs in the family, perhaps. Oh, They're twins, yeah. you know. We, exactly. Mm -hmm. They have the exact same skill, spatial, <laughs> you know, yeah. spatial identification, yeah. awareness. Well, and I think they live together, so I think they do a lot of puzzling. Right, yeah. right. So Deval Washington should yep. be... Uh, Partying it up tonight and really excited <laughs> yeah. about uh, I mean, Sunday it's afternoon. It's impressive because, the you know, there's so many good people in this. I mean, you know, yeah, there's so many good people in this round. And then for both of them to finish in their in their individual prelims is quite just amazing. So is Andrew's this Andrea? going to be pretty close. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to pull up and so we can kind of see exactly what the split is. Yes. Um, I'll pull that up when we can start to see results. So if folks aren't aware, you can watch results as they come in. You just need to go to the worldjigsawpuzzle.org. Worldjigsawpuzzle.org. And, yep. and if you go to the results tab, you want to go to the results tab and look for Nationals 2024. And you click on that, and then all of a sudden you get a page. I'll show you results. It has a picture of the puzzle. And all the different divisions are up top. So you just uh, click on the division you want to be looking at, and and you'll see the times as they come in. Excellent. Yep. So we have Tammy McLeod, a board member. She's entering all those results as soon as someone finishes. A volunteer writes it down on their little slip of paper. And they run it up to Tammy. And she enters it. And so it's official. And here so we go. There's Andrea only has. Just so quick. There, there it, it is. is. 58. 58. 53. 53. Yeah. Fantastic work. You know, for them to finish under an hour is probably just like, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but she barely made it. That's she a had a minute and a half. Puzzle. Yes, yeah. you're right. So this is a harder puzzle than we thought. I think what we're going to hear when we start to talk to the finishers is maybe it was a little dark because when I'm looking around at the pieces and stuff, the pieces, it's kind of a darker color puzzle. Right. Yeah, it's not right. as vibrant as Fiesta Time was. And all morning. of the individual elements are mm -hmm. smaller. There right, was, right. you know, the papayas. Yeah, larger. you had a few bigger chunks. Yeah, yep, like a yep. dozen at the most bigger things. And exactly. there's a lot of little bottles mm -hmm. and yep. pieces of fruit there. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, Jaren as people like start to finish, we'll wait until we see, you know, maybe like the top five, six finishers here. And then we'll start bringing some folks over to interview them and ask them okay. about how it went. 
Um, but we like to get those top finishers at least on camera and pay attention to what's happening there. And yeah, so how it works is pretty much they get done and they can take any photos they want to take. And then they immediately take the puzzle apart. How sad is that? Andrea's already got it in the box. She barely looked at it after she finished. So it's not like at home where you maybe leave it on the table for a few days to right. admire, exactly. right? Exactly. That's what, of yeah, course. You that's immediately have to. Your handiwork, you know, but yeah. no. Yeah, no, not much admiring the handiwork here. It just goes right in the box and then you leave the competition area so as not to disturb the people who are still puzzling. So. So that's kind of how it works. The shoes back on and, now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did you hear? Oh no! Did she it? was she had the shoes off and she was kneeling on her chair. Oh yeah, she does do that. that yeah, yeah, she what, does that all the time. That's what Allie was kind saying. Kind of her mo. Yeah, yeah. She's, <laughs> she's looking over here. She could hear us talking <laughs> about that. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if she's been listening to the live stream in her AirPods. She, right, right. <laughs> she might be. She Actually, people that. at Worlds told me that, that they had headphones on, and I thought they were listening to music. They were right. like, no, I was listening to the live stream. Oh my God. And it's like, oh, no. <laughs> that would be distracting. But, so yeah. Should we Yeah, I mean, we can right bring her. Yeah, yeah we can bring her over. Andrea's right here. We can bring her over to talk. No, oh, that's all right. Yeah, you can sit, have a seat. <laughs> so Horacio, we're gonna have Andrea jump on if you can get it. So time. congratulations! Yeah. Does her mic on? Good. Oh, oh yeah. Turn that on. Here it is. All right, you have your puzzles. So sit down. So this is Andrea Peng. Yes. And where are you from? San Francisco. San Francisco. All right. So not yeah. too far away. Then. Nope. We broke down, and so we could load all the puzzles possible in our car and. <laughs> Right, yeah, exactly. We're, we're not quite on camera yet, oh, okay. but almost. But you're you're okay. But Just letting you know. Yeah. Okay, we're not on we're camera, not, yeah. but we're uh, we yeah. are on yeah. voice. Yeah. Thought, yeah. So okay, so you're ranked number two in the U.S. Yes. in uh, in speed with the U.S. rankings. So it looks like you were about two and a half minutes yeah. behind Jean. She, it. <laughs> she did crush it, right? So the Reuter sisters won both of their preliminaries. They yeah. They're how are you feeling formidable. about pairs tomorrow? <laughs> um, it's just going to be fun. Yeah, think, yeah. Um, Who's your pairs partner Kelly tomorrow? Walter. Oh, we well, we know Kelly. Yeah. yeah. And Kelly is four, Kelly third was a, in the yeah. Kelly Walter. Yeah. She's third in the world, so or second the US, and third. Yeah, third in the U.S., yep. Days, so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, you guys are going to have a good shot at it Thank tomorrow, you. for sure. Are yeah. you in the first or second preliminary second. tomorrow? Okay. Second. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And so are you part of teams? I am with Becca Taylor, Kelly Burr, and Kelly Walter. Yeah. Well, oh, my. Yeah. That'll be a formidable so team. Yes, that is a afternoon. formidable team. So you team. have back to back competitions. We do, then. but I think it's nice because you're really warmed up and you're ready to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would say that's true. Probably everybody here, they're just like, I just want a puzzle. Just get me in there. I want to yeah. do it. And then I'm going to go upstairs and, like, <laughs> play a puzzle for fun. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try the one from this morning. So. Oh, you are? Oh, I there you go. So. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's going to be swapping yeah. their, their individual yeah. prelim puzzles today to kind yeah. of show each it's other. It's so awesome. They mm -hmm. have U.S. Uh, Jigsaw Nationals on the box. I know, I right? That, so. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I'm tell not... us about the puzzle. What was your strategy? Um, Did it was it different than you expected? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Um, mm -hmm. I thought it would be easier by looking at the pieces to tell where they belonged. So I started mm -hmm. picking like what I thought was red and pink that would go along the bottom. And then, as you can see, like there were little red bits everywhere. There's just <laughs> everything everywhere. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kind of started with the eggplant and the cabbage, or the things that were purple. I tried to fill in the bottom. Um, I saved the broccoli till last. <laughs> really? Okay, yeah, we kind of wondered that. Um, was it kind of dark? It looked dark, like kind of dark green. A little dark, green. but yeah. it was in multiple places, and it kind of mm -hmm. looked like other things. I thought if I built around it, then there wouldn't be that many in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, after I got the bulk of the bottom, then you could kind of see the bottle edges and mm -hmm. the shelves. Mm -hmm. shelves and then mm -hmm. built that in and then filled in the green and the broccoli yeah. last yeah. but do you do you feel like when you're practicing are you yeah. thinking of different strategies for different types of puzzles and trying out different strategies I am mm -hmm. um, but I think once I start puzzling I just go into whatever mode 
like it, uh-huh. it kind of takes over. Yeah. So, but <laughs> this is a fun puzzle. It was good. So I'm assuming the last one will be food, also maybe <laughs> more food. I am so, mom's the word. Yeah, I'm, I'm, right. I'm a vault. <laughs> the, yeah. no, nothing's coming out here. I'm Someone, not going to yeah. screw that up. Yeah. Someone said it was going to be a theme, and that they thought it was San Diego, and so I was just glad it wasn't like a beach or sand or some <laughs> like <laughs> some oh, monotonous. Yeah. What would you thing. say are your your strengths as far as the, the um, types of designs you like? I actually think puzzles like this I'm pretty good at. Mm. Um, Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like a barn <laughs> or a Waisaki, and I don't like fish. I'm one of those. So, yeah. but I like these kind of busy puzzles or collage okay. puzzles. Or okay, do you prefer so. photos to illustrations? Do you have a Not preference really. there? No. Okay. Maybe illustrations. Yeah. Any favorite artists? Um. Well. No, I won't. Uh, yeah. Say. You don't want to say. Like, I like <laughs> a variety of, of puzzles. Yeah. You know my. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I should say it on this on the live stream, but I really like New York Puzzle Company puzzles. Oh yeah, and they have yeah you some can say it. Of really course, really gorgeous yeah. new artists yeah, that they've yeah. been doing, mm-hmm. and I like I like the magazine covers and stuff like that. Yeah. So those I think are I do fun a lot of there. those as well. I like those yeah. a lot. Yeah, they've got a lot yeah. of colors, and it's not mm-hmm. they're not a lot of monotonous mm-hmm. pictures. So yeah, yeah. I obviously have twice as many Raven Burgers at home as, <laughs> as yeah, yeah, other brands, but um, yeah. But anyway, so, yeah. yeah. Um, well, so you weren't here in 2022 no. at Nationals, right? So nope. this is your first Nationals. So what do you think so far of how it's kind of going? Is um, it similar to Worlds for you or is it different in any way? I think we were all kind of laughing this morning because at Worlds, we all just, I mean, all these excellent puzzles. We were so worried we just wouldn't make it through to the preliminary. And in mm-hmm. retrospect, we didn't need to be so worried. Mm-hmm. I think here is more fun mm-hmm. Ooh, yay becca oh good um, oh yay see, yeah because Excellent. you get to see everyone but yeah. also stressful because like i want everyone to do well except mm-hmm. i also kind of want to do yeah <laughs> do a little better <laughs> but um there's yeah, I nobody that. i would not be happy for if they you know crushed yep. it so yep. right We'll I do see. feel like it's it's unique in that way. I mean, you are kind yeah. of competing against your own best time and like your yeah. own strengths or weaknesses, you yeah. know, and everybody has the puzzles that they do really well at, you know. Yeah. And do you do you know of any competitors where you see a certain design and go, oh, well, I know who's going to do well with that. Um, yeah, Becca's really good at underwater and she's really good at the Elsbeth Mc- McLean puzzles. Oh, OK. That, yep. And, I think they're gorgeous, but they're so hard. Mm-hmm. I find them mm-hmm. really hard. So, mm-hmm. um, so that's Becca yeah. Taylor. Yeah, I was Taylor just gonna say Becca finished while we were talking. Third, yeah, so she was like yep. a minute or an hour, six, six minutes, minutes, forty-two and, seconds, and forty-two. Yep. Okay, it's yep. already posted. It's up already, already on the Yay. site. Yeah, so One, Becca finished, and she was sharing the table with Andrea and your friends, yeah. and on the same team. So, yeah. Where is? I'd love to get Jean over here, though. I don't yeah, know we'll find it. Jean. We're going to... Ha- oh, actually, is that her? No, that's... No, I think that's her sister. Oh, yeah, Jean. Oh, no, there she is. Yeah, we should definitely get Jean over. All okay. right, well, thanks for joining us, Andrea. Great. Yeah, thanks for coming over. <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Have a seat. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, you okay. you upheld the family uh, <laughs> yeah. honor. That was unexpected, to be honest. Unexpected. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a hard puzzle. Was it a hard puzzle? Yeah. Really? Yeah, uh, too much, the color spread was really across the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And the shapes were the same across the whole thing. And it mm-hmm. was dark in some areas. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, the times are a little slower than I think we thought they were going to be. I thought we thought. We thought they were probably going to be similar to the Fiesta time, but now in retrospect, it's like, oh, yeah, it was definitely way harder. I'm like, what time did I even so have? So you were 56 <laughs> to 56, 25. 25. Yeah. So that yeah. was. That feels it looks like we're going to. Yeah. We're about to get. Yep, I was she just going to say. She does not get bragging rights for that. Yep. She was forty-six fifty. Yep, but we're going to. Of course, have, it's totally compared yep. on yep. The, each the exact, individual yep. puzzle. We got a couple people who are just oh, about okay. to finish here, so we so were like, okay, let's figure fifth. out who this is. We'll try to figure out. Yeah, fourth and fifth only. Oh, what do we have? Do we so know we had which competitors seventy-six are? people finish the first puzzle in the two hours, oh, yep. and so we are not going to have that many this time. Yeah, it's it's Gail McCormick and Kelly Burr that you're looking at. Okay. Oh, and Jessa, it says. Gail McCormick is at table 13. Yeah, so they're neck and neck here. We're going to get in the top. Looks like in the top five. Jessa. Oh, there we go. About. I think that's Gail that just finished. Oh, and there we go. 
Okay, Gail McCormick. Oh, we've got four, five, and six coming in fast. All right. All right. I think that was Kelly Burr, wasn't it? Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of action happening near Karen here, too. Okay. Karen Puzzles is getting close. So those I think were Karen Puzzles is about to Five and six, too. so this is in, oh, maybe someone. We should definitely get somebody seven. over there. Um, yeah, we're getting, we're getting close with folks. Karen only has a few pieces left. All right, yeah, there you're seeing Karen. She's really close. Oh, boy, is she going to make top ten. six? Cause, or do we already we get the six? six? We have six, okay. So she's going to be seventh. So she's just going to be one outside. I would tell Allie to make top six, maybe, or top seven or something. Oh, boy. Allie's going to make an announcement in a little bit and tell everybody who the top folks are. Yeah, we're getting close. Four was Kelly. It's Burr. fun watching those last bits. Like, what, yep. when you're watching, what is it like for you being like a it's super really cool best over yeah. here? <laughs> it's, like, it's more adrenaline in a way to be like, so close. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so close. Jeez. Jean's just like cheering for her. her Oh, she just finished. Oh, my gosh. And she finished in silence. I didn't know she finished, but Karen just she got done there. She didn't yell or See, anything No, like she that. didn't yell. She just kind of collapsed. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, oh, no. So an hour okay, 11 go, and yeah. some odd. Yeah, so we're going to go to Allie to make okay, announcements quick. Re yep. Re now that we have the top six. Yep. We, we can, oh, yeah, I'll refresh we'll this. refresh yep. to see what. Yep. Okay. Kelly Gale was six. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh, Je Jessa. All right, everyone, keep on puzzling. Jessa Don't let me stop you, but I will make a quick announcement. Uh, we wanted to let you all know that we have our first sixth place, sixth place finishers. We've got in first place Jean Reuter, 56 minutes, 25 seconds. Andrea Peng, 58 minutes, 53 seconds. Those two came on under an hour. Everyone after that, over an hour. Becca Taylor, one hour, six minutes, 42 seconds. Fourth place, Jessa Douglas, one hour, nine minutes, 37 seconds. Kelly Buer, one hour, nine minutes, 49 seconds. And Gail McCormick, one hour, 10 minutes, and six seconds. She was only about 20 seconds away from Kelly Buer. Very, very close, and, and Kelly and Jessa were within 12 seconds of each other, so great job, everyone. If you can't find a piece, there may be a piece on the ground near you on a yellow sheet of paper, so if you're looking for one, keep an eye out for that. Um, otherwise, keep on puzzling as fast as you can. All right. Yeah, so that's exciting. We've got, so Karen ended up, I think, in seventh place. Looks like seventh. Yep, and boy, you know, it, it is a tough puzzle, so yeah. Did you, what were your expectations? I want to hear what your speculation was because I feel like everybody I talked to in the last three months told me what their theories were for what the puzzles were going to be at Nationals. So what were you thinking coming into today? Did you have any idea what to expect? I knew the artists to expect, but I figured those are all going to be for finals and not mm -hmm. the qualifiers. So I just assumed it would just be something like this, like, um, I didn't know if it would be a, an illustration or mm -hmm. a photograph or a graphic, though, so... Mm -hmm. That was no idea. Okay, let's put it that way. I had no idea what you was to expect for the prelims. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So did you practice like a little bit of everything then? <laughs> <laughs> yes. My sister and I are historically very bad at busy, muddy puzzles, so we may have done more of those than normal, and oh, I think it really okay. helped. Yeah. Because yeah. this clearly, like a year ago. No. <laughs> no, it would have been really, yeah. really hard and different, I think. Yeah. Is that hard for you to just, like, convince yourself, like, well, this isn't what I'm naturally drawn to, but I'm I'm going to do it because it's good for me, so to speak. Yeah. You have to eat your vegetables, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Literally. Plentiful yeah. produce. Yeah. Plentiful produce. Yeah. It was definitely mm -hmm. a case of, we do puzzling for fun, mm -hmm. but... For this, like, this level of event, you do need to yeah. maybe get out your comfort zone and mm -hmm. do some puzzles that you don't normally pick up, yeah. which is good because it's 
It's still a puzzle, so it's still fun. Well, right. right. It's yeah. still great. It doesn't matter what puzzle it is. No. It's still great to it do it. Expand your but... brain to do puzzles yes. you know you're not comfortable with. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Expand your comfort zone. Yeah. Yep. So now, you, Jean, and your sister Kathy, yes. won both of your preliminary heats. That's crazy. I, I know. know. <laughs> it is crazy. Are we going to be at the same table? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a really good question. <laughs> So that Do you have be a preference? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be hysterical. It'd be great. So I mean, maybe. We smack talk each other at home you, all the time. Yeah, yeah, I, I bet. I bet. So you two dominated the pairs in 2022. Mm-hmm. And you have oh, to be the odds-on favorite to win happened. the pairs this year. Yeah, the right. And pairs competition's gotten stiffer. One, there are a lot of really good people out there. Yeah, yes. Yeah. But one, two... In the, I told Val, I said, I'm counting on the Reuters sisters <laughs> to be 1-2 in the, in the individual final on Sunday afternoon. I we'll don't know. See. It all I comes do, down to the puzzle. Of course, yeah. it yeah. certainly does. And it doesn't mean I'm me. rooting for anyone, but just yeah, from yeah, what we've yeah. seen so far today. Although it was that, pretty close that first round for three Kathy. Seconds. You You had a bit of a more comfortable Ooh. lead there with two and a half minutes. But yeah, it was only three seconds yeah. for right. Kathy. That was amazing. So, yeah, I yeah. love those ones where it's just... Yeah, oh, it's exciting. Nail biters. Right, right. Yes. Yeah, no, I think, I mean, I'm sure coming into pairs, everybody's like sort of, well, Jean and Kathy are going to be in there. Like, we're oh, for a <laughs> we're <laughs> not that great with trays. So. <laughs> oh, that's right. So, yeah. yeah, for those of you at home who maybe don't There's, know, the puzzlers, they know. They're serious. They te- keep track of this. But we kind of ran into the situation of, you know, we... We had a thousand piece puzzle we wanted to do for the pair final. And then it was like, oh, but what do we do about the fact that we have, you know, tables that are not huge? Do we limit it to only, you know, 50 pairs that advance to the final, which would mean only 25 from each preliminary advance? Or do we just encourage people to use trays and maximize a half of a table? And we decided on the half table search of strategy. So uh, so all those pairs are going to do a thousand piece puzzle on the same size space that they had today for a 500. And if you're watching the screen there and seeing how much space the 500 piece takes up and how much space, space all the puzzle pieces take up, it is going to be tight. So we are encouraging them to use trays. Be strategic about how you use your trays and maximize that space because you are going to be crammed with a thousand piece puzzle on a half of a table. So, and yeah. I will admit, having to practice trays pushed us out of our comfort zone and we learned a couple things about our puzzling habits yeah. because of that requirement. Yeah. So, thank it you. It is a good thing to do <laughs> because with Worlds, trays also come in handy because oftentimes you are in a crammed space at Worlds as well. So, it can be a little tight sometimes when you're having to share tables and things like that. But, yeah, I mean, we talked about it a lot as a board because it was, it was a tough decision. You don't want it to be unpleasant for people. So, I'm hoping people practice the trays and are just ready to make use of that. And I know, I know for you guys who are super fast, it's maybe like, great. <laughs> One more thing. Until I to... figured out how to color sort better because I had to use a tray. Thanks, JPA. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, now you'll be that much more prepared for Worlds. Yeah. Just be like, we know, we got the tray situation now. Because yeah. Worlds, too, where trays really come in is if they do the 1500 piecer, mm, then you're, you're yeah. struggling to do that on a, on a smaller table. So, Uh, That's when the trays would really come in handy. But, yeah, it'll be interesting. We're going to have a lot of tray talk on on (laughs) Sunday in the pair final, I think, when we're watching everybody deal with that. Yeah. But, no, I'm I'm excited. I mean, now let's see how we're doing for results. We got quite a few people who have been finishing off screen. Oh, yeah. We're up to 15 finishers. And we're... Just coming up on yep. an hour 19 in the yep. competition. Yeah, and here's so another one. There'll be 41 minutes left. Mm-hmm. We have 15. Now, at this point already, mm-hmm. we had our 33. We're less right. than halfway yeah. to our 33 right. for this. So, prelim- yeah. But, it's, of course, it depends on the puzzle. Right. Now, these next, what, 18 people are, you know, 18 more people can get mm-hmm. into the advance of the final. So it's yeah. really a battle just yeah. with them against yep. their puzzle and yep. you know, against their neighbors, I yeah. guess. So, and they only have two yeah. hours to, you know, until we end the competition. So, you know, I think we're going to have a little more people in this round that don't finish than we did in the last round. We had a tie because there's two 15s. Oh, you're right. There's now. two 15. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to call. I think we're going to get uh, Ibeka over here so we can talk to her. But thanks, Thank Jane, thanks for joining so us. Yes, Fine. and congratulations. Thank you. Great nice watching work. you, Puzzle. Yeah. Yes, and we'll uh, see you out on the floor. All yeah, right. we'll see you Perfect. out there. See thanks. And yeah, we'll have Becca come on over. Oh, you okay? Oh, yeah, come on over. We're gonna have two. Oh, I don't know if we can fit. Just one second. We'd have to adjust the camera. Okay. Okay. Here, here. We'll both go up the outside. Oh, okay. Thank we'll you. do it this way. This one's turned on. Okay. Oh, the results. We haven't done two guests yet, so this is exciting. <laughs> Sorry, I hadn't actually seen this yet. <laughs> Jeez, Louise, that was that was a doozy. Yeah, it was so hard. Uh, yeah, I think they are. are yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hello. So we'll want to talk yeah. into them. So go ahead yeah. and scoot yeah. closer yeah. to the microphone yeah. so we can hear you. Mm -hmm. The folks We've at home can hear you. <laughs> so, yeah. so go we're ahead and introduce. By Becca Taylor, who came in third, and Jessa Douglas, mm -hmm. right? And you were in the fourth, fourth. Place spot. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for having having a little chat with us. So yeah. thanks for having us. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? Relieved. Yeah. <laughs> Glad it's over. <laughs> yeah. My goal with this one was just to survive through yeah. to tomorrow. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I think and there was I no danger. And when I opened it up and saw the puzzle, I was like, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why did you say, oh boy? I mean, look at it. <laughs> it's so busy and like so many colors in different places that are the same. Mm -hmm. I had so. several things jump out to me immediately, and then I would realize yeah. about half the pieces had that on it. So <laughs> after doing the broccoli, I was like, well, geez. <laughs> I guess I'll do peppers. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 a lot easier to look at it as an organizer and be like, oh, that'll be that'll be fine, that'll be easy, and then like, hmm, maybe not but there's easy yeah. once red you see all everywhere, the kind and of. yellow, <laughs> and yellow, yellow threw me off because mm -hmm. I tried to start with it. We both yeah. did that. Yeah. We yeah. pulled the yellows and, and then went. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> not today. <laughs> That's Good funny. Theory. <laughs> that so, was one of my things at the beginning. I was like, I'd probably pull the red and the yellow, and then now I'm like, hmm, maybe that wouldn't yeah. have worked so hot. So I don't what, know if they caught this on camera, but that's exactly what I did. I put really? the yellow, mm -hmm. and I put them here, and the reds, and put yeah. them here. And then about 10 minutes later, I went, whoop. <laughs> 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 Let's just get those out of the way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, are you surprised looking at it? Would you have thought it would, would time out about the same as the Fiesta time, the first one today? Or... Yeah, I was expecting faster times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then as it was going, I, I tried very hard not to look at the clock. But at yeah. one point I looked up and realized we had passed the hour mark. I was just like, well, all right then. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, I've seen, Good. Becca, you compete a lot. Jessa, I'm not as familiar with you. How much have you compete? This is your first time? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. I've done um, two online with Jonathan. Okay. And Speed mm -hmm. puzzle, but yeah, this is my first in person. So. She's a natural. Wow. Yes. Okay. Well, what's I'm in that shock. Like? like? I'm just, I'm shaking still. I cried. <laughs> I think more of relief that I'm done. Um, it was an extremely difficult puzzle, so mm -hmm. I'm just happy to be done. Wow. And the, I'm like, I was wanting top ten, so top four for this wow. is great. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> That's so exciting. I can't imagine. My first competition, I go to a national championship and I get fourth in my division. <laughs> like, that's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty surreal. Yeah. Good mentors. Okay. <laughs> Great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, are you in the pairs or team? Yes. You're in yes. both. both. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, both of you? Mm hmm. Yes, yeah. and Jess is on an uh, Instagram celebrity team. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> Tell us more, Jessa. Who is on your team? Oh, well, our team of fours is Joyce Puzzles, and okay. then Julie, who is from Las Vegas as well. I don't think she has, I think she just started Instagram, actually. Okay. And then Hannah Scott, who participated in Worlds. She did. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. 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 yeah, Hannah was my partner at Worlds, oh, and she is okay. just delightful and wicked yeah. fast. So yeah. I can't wait to watch you guys. Yeah. She's my yeah. Paris partner, too, so, and she's oh, lovely. Okay. So. Oh, okay. I hate wow. that we're racing at all the same time, I so I can't. I mean, I could cheer. You can't watch each other yeah. from a distance. Yeah. From, a distance. from a distance. You could listen to the live stream, and then you'd know what we were saying about you. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. Yeah, I, I <laughs> don't There were several moments you. where I literally threw pieces, and I thought, I really hope this isn't <laughs> We were Val's, commenting Val's on it. We were like, look at Becca. Shameful. Like, look Shameful. at that. She's just Shame. like, you know, have some decorum, Becca. I know. When Get you're it puzzled. under control. <laughs> <laughs> so no. are you in the first or second preliminaries tomorrow? 
uh, of the first, pairs. At You're nine. in the first. Yeah, okay. In the first, yeah. And then you'll have little time off for, before you come back before for the team, yep. the three hour yes. team. Yep. Yep. And then the two and a half hour pairs final on Sunday yes. morning. Yes. Hopefully. Hopefully. Right. Yeah, we get there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you did this well. He, I, yeah. He, I, mean, we, I think it's a done deal. I, I think would you can think relax so. a little yeah, bit tonight. Yeah. Fifty of the hundred pairs and each one will advance. Oh, so okay. you just have to be in the top 50%. half. Yeah. yeah, yeah Fifty yeah. percent yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's, and then of course the odds. individual final. Yes. Will be on Sunday afternoon, yes. Yes. and you're already yeah. there. Yeah. So, and you're already in the team finals. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. really, so, good, great. Yeah, well, thank you. What? And how about you're to I, I have early? the afternoon shift tomorrow. The, okay. Mm -hmm. So, yes. ostensibly, I could sleep in, but I'll probably get up and right. puzzle. So yeah. you can, you guys can watch each other then. <laughs> yes. Actually, and then in we the, can pairs. Yeah, for the pairs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's oh, nice. Make okay. a sign. Oh. <laughs> did you bring markers? I actually did. Yes, I did. That's awesome. There are materials. You did. You're so kind. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, what are you looking forward to? Okay, if you were to so you sit down at your table, you're in the individual final, the bag's sitting there. What do you hope to pull out of the bag? 100% Sky. Yeah. What? I want a monochrome puzzle. <laughs> I talked about that really? earlier. Yeah. I said all black, just oh shape sorting the whole puzzle. <laughs> no, just a no 500, 1,000 piece, just black, black square. Like, yeah, you know. sure, sounds good. <laughs> I, was, I was almost Edge. late for a race yeah. before because they have a zebra puzzle going mm. on oh. one of our sponsor tables in the other room, so it's just all black and white, and I went, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> You're one. one of those people that's <laughs> like, oh, I like a challenge. You yes. want a hard puzzle. Okay. Yes, perhaps Justin? not. This. You know, <laughs> not the speed puzzling part. Yeah, I like a challenge, but yeah. I don't want to speed through it. You, okay. Yeah, you've yeah. done some crazy yeah, ones. The, the puzzler time. was your first mm -hmm. big challenge, yeah. one, right? Yeah. Yeah. That one, but yeah. So, what do you want to see I'm pulled out of the bag? An illustration. I love art mm -hmm. illustrations um, with obviously enough pattern and details mm -hmm. to make it fun, but not mm -hmm. too easy. I didn't okay. want it to be like that fast. But, no. yeah. Okay. yeah. I would think knowing the artists that they released who are doing our puzzles, I would think those That's what images would see. be right That's up your alley. That's actually true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love all the artists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Hopefully yeah, not anything too crazy busy. Yeah. So where are you ladies from? Mm -hmm. uh, Bay Area, near San Francisco. Both of you? Mm -hmm. I'm okay. from Washington. Oh, okay. Yeah. Washington State. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So along with the uh, Reuters, Reuters sisters, yes. yeah, Oma. and I just met them. They're wonderful. Oh, so yeah. West <laughs> West Coasters, you have an advantage. You're yeah. not jet lagged at all. Like you didn't have a three hour time that's change fair. or yeah. anything, right? Yeah. 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 And that's Andrea yeah. Peng was that's from that's, Bay yeah, Area. That's why you did well. Yeah. Yeah. Andrea yeah. Peng's from the Bay Area. Actually, yeah. that's interesting. True. The top five are all West. Karen is in there too, and she's out here as well. Yeah. So really, you should get Gail on here because she's the only Eastern person in the top ten. We'll work on that. We'll yeah. try to get Gail. We are going to bring Karen on. Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. I don't want to so, stand in the way. Well, no, 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 no you're I know good. the internet. Thank you so much. I know much. what the internet wants. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, of <laughs> course. I know what the internet wants. Thanks Just for another West Coaster. Okay. Congratulations, yeah. Jessa. Thank you so Amazing. much. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and well, right. I'm sure we'll be talking to you again. So thanks, Tom. Right. Good luck. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Good luck tomorrow in your two competitions each. So we're at an hour 28 minutes, so we have 32 minutes left. All right, and we're, oh, sorry, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, so, whichever. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah. You can do either. It's okay. No, 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 yeah. please, yeah. Karen, come in the middle. I'm sorry. Yeah, so we're going to have Karen Puzzles join us here hey, at the oh, at the right table. Now. There we are. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so. Hi. I saw you at the end. You just. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was the worst puzzle I've ever done. What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Really? Why? No, why? The, Tell not, us not why. Not the absolute worst, but um, <laughs> it was so well, much. For, for it, it being bad, you did pretty well, Karen. It felt like it was You're, going so slow. Really? I felt like I just kept mm -hmm. getting so stuck. Really? Yeah. Oh. I, I pulled out all the yellows yeah. right up front, mm -hmm. and then I feel like I looked at them like eight times and couldn't get in a single <laughs> yellow piece. <laughs> Actually, you're not alone because Becca said the same thing. She's like, I pulled out all the yellow and all the red, and I started it, and then I was like, nope, and yep. just like yep. left that alone. Well, so. I usually like puzzles mm -hmm. with. Oh, yeah. I usually like puzzles with like a, a shelf, you know, like a horizontal mm, yeah. line. Yeah. But this one was so dark, you, right. like, you couldn't even see it in the image. Yeah, I predicted at the beginning it, people would do the shelves and then it was a void. The shelves mm -hmm. were a void because mm -hmm. they were just dark. And mm -hmm. so everybody had this line and of dark like pieces. And there's like a little bit of glare, so you can't really see <laughs> yeah. all the details. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
But I mean, again, you got seventh. You Wait, still have a very ad- yeah. yeah. You still had a very admirable time. I mean, so you know, but hour this eleven is and twenty four compared to a fast mm-hmm. time for you, right? Mm-hmm. What would you have predicted that you'd do pulling that out and being like, did you think it was going to be under an hour and then it I proved probably, to be harder? I probably would have said just over an hour, mm-hmm. but I think this is a little longer than I expected. Yeah, yeah. Especially for the top times, 56 minutes right. for the, top, for That's the winner. almost right. 10 minutes longer than mm-hmm. the first preliminary yeah, yeah, top yeah. time. Were you just was... like, why couldn't I have been in Division <laughs> One? <laughs> well, I feel like at Worlds, I got so lucky by getting yes. the easiest yeah. prelim it's karma. puzzle. <laughs> so now, like, I have to get the hardest one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, we haven't seen the third one. Yeah, Who yeah. Knows? And I'm not saying anything, so we'll see how that one goes. But yeah, yeah, how is it so far? I mean, I am noticing, and you've been at Worlds, so mm. you know, it was a bit rowdy at Worlds mm. and kind of loud. It was like a library in here. Yeah. It's so quiet. Is, well, does that throw you off, or is that better? Here's the difference, I think. Okay. At Worlds, they have the live stream projected, That's so everyone true. can see who's in the lead and sort of cheer people on as they right. show up. That's true. But here, you can't really see much except yeah. for the people on the edges right that is true yeah because we're not projecting the live stream mm-hmm. in the front and and yeah all of the fastest puzzlers for the most part other than maybe some surprises out there kind of in the front of the room where the spectators you're right they can't yeah. really see so they're just sort of what's happening up there <laughs> <laughs> we do have a live stream projected in a few spaces so people mm-hmm. can go to like the sponsor room and watch it or go upstairs and watch it but yeah here in the space you're right yeah. that maybe contributes to it where yeah. it's just quiet but does, i think at, yeah. at pa- for pairs and for teams obviously we'll all be talking to each other so it'll right. be a lot more a lot louder so are you a talker while you puzzle karen in the in the team events uh, I think it depends on my teammates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. I, I know Sarah's a chatty puzzler. Uh-huh. She likes to talk, and you mm-hmm. were on her worlds, yeah, too. Yeah, we did great. Yeah. So I think <laughs> it's a great strategy. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys are puzzling, though, are you just talking about the puzzle, mm-hmm. or are you talking about, like, what you had for lunch yesterday? Or... No. Okay. No. So well, it's during just practice, about sometimes we'll, like, chat, but great. at a competition, it's only about the puzzle. So if somebody starts saying, oh, I got this really cute, you're like, no, stop it. <laughs> like... <laughs> Puzzle talk only. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. (laughs) That makes sense. I think it helps you focus, right? And for pairs, Mm -hmm. I'm pairing up with a new pair this time. I'm with Tiffany. Oh, you're with Tiffany. Yeah. Oh, okay. For a while. I was gonna say. I thought you were gonna maybe be with Eb. I gotta look at these divisions more closely so I know (laughs) all the all the. That is unique about puzzling events. Is everybody switches it up? You Mm -hmm. know, their teams might be one thing at another contest, and you know, then they come to nationals and they have a whole new team. What goes into picking your teammates and your you know for you um i think it's just about doing events like this seeing how mm-hmm. people place seeing mm-hmm. who's kind of at a similar level to you mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. you just reach out and ask okay. and hope that they're not already paired up <laughs> <laughs> right is it weird or harder for you being like okay you're gonna be in a lot of videos <laughs> yeah i always make sure to, to make sure they're all okay with that yeah 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 exactly so i mean kind yeah. of like the prom then you ask and hope they're not already said mm-hmm. yes and mm-hmm. something like, well I'm the guy I have to do the asking so it's different <laughs> I guess I think different I don't know if anybody even cares anymore I think right. it's just uh, whatever yeah, you're you know? right of yeah, course but yeah. my day I was you know um, so are you in the oh, first or second mm-hmm. pairs preliminary tomorrow I'm in the first one. The first yep. one. So oh, then. and so back to your your oh, original yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. So Tiffany is definitely a talker. Oh, while she, she is. Puzzles. Okay. She so both she and Alyssa, who I've mm-hmm. done like casual puzzling with, mm-hmm. are very stream of consciousness. And so I was like at Worlds when they were paired. Was yeah. it just like nonstop chatting? <laughs> <laughs> I would, <laughs> Like See, I need a microphone I, on yeah. that table. <laughs> <laughs> That's super funny. I'm not much of a chatter when I puzzle, unless it's, you know, just like, who's got this? Or, you know, talking mm-hmm. that, like, strategy stuff. But not much... I mean, yeah, I I've done whole competitions where we barely talk. Yeah, Like, yeah. if it's very easily sure. divided up, you're each just kind of right. doing your own thing. That's a good point. Yep. So we're at about 25 people have finished at the hour and a half mark. I saw just a second ago, and I wanted to comment because I saw Melinda Owens finish. She's from Texas and uh, has been super active in USAJPA, and we've seen her at, like, every competition. So I wanted to give her a shout-out because I saw she just finished a bit ago. But yeah. When I first started working and I was getting so stuck, mm-hmm. I admit, I was like, am I going to make it into the finals? <laughs> Are you <laughs> legit yeah. worried? I was a little worried because <laughs> it just felt like it was going so yeah, slow. Yeah, yeah. I watched your video, like, you know, preparing for nationals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I have to ask mm-hmm. because, you know, you did a lot of speculating. Yep, how, yep. how do you think your predictions have gone thus far? 
I well, so I could hear you guys talking over uh-huh. here. So I heard a little bit of the background of what you were <laughs> saying about these puzzles, uh-huh. the fact that they were like stock photos, mm-hmm. and I think that totally makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess what I was saying with thinking they might be fully custom puzzles is mm-hmm. that I don't know if they'd work with like illustrators to make nine mm-hmm. entire like one you know illustrations mm-hmm. that they would keep totally secret. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think this is great. I think it's a happy medium between mm-hmm. the custom like very mm-hmm. short run puzzles yep. and then the like fully available ones that we'll get yeah. later. I love hearing the speculation. As, <laughs> as an organizer we love that stuff when we go on Instagram and see people talking about it and like what do you think it's going to be and like it's just like well, tickles. Like, we're putting tickles together all heart. the little hints from like every Instagram post <laughs> every like email. Oh, yeah. every... I don't think we had any idea that when we put out the announcement about some artists that would be here mm-hmm. the, the vast like you know all the talk that resulted from mm-hmm, that. I mm-hmm. think we were a little surprised that mm-hmm. people were that like, oh my gosh, what is happening? And like <laughs> everybody online was chatting about like, oh, did you see the who, the artists that this are going to be the, there? This is the new biggest opportunity for any illustrator. Right? Get yeah. Your, get your thing in a puzzle competition and then yeah. everyone's going to be talking about you. Right? Yeah. I mean, it does develop a lot of chatter online for sure. So, yeah. I well, mean, and I think also mm-hmm. having um, Elspeth McLean doing the mm-hmm. Mandela's, mm-hmm. that's such a unique type of image mm-hmm. that all of us were like we have to practice like we're all asking each other what, yeah what she do you does have really <laughs> unique imagery for sure so yeah no i'm excited to see the reaction this weekend to everything that comes out it'll be fun so what's your favorite part of the whole like weekend because you're kind of here for the whole thing so mm-hmm. yeah yeah i'm i'm so busy this weekend i'm like mm-hmm. running like Trying to keep all my oh, yeah. trying to keep all my social media updated. Also doing mm-hmm. um, the YouTube videos. Mm-hmm. Um, I have uh, Valentina here. She was also mm-hmm. at World, so she's mm-hmm. filming for me again with mm-hmm. this crazy intense camera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna have some really really good puzzle footage. Oh, that's exciting! I mean, we love that as an organization. <laughs> we're like awesome. So somebody's gonna <laughs> recap the whole thing and and share it and that's amazing so we love that you do that yeah and oh i pretty yeah. much blocked off the next month just to edit what happened <laughs> right. like in these three days, three days <laughs> yep, yep. i heard valentina telling someone this morning before we started about the camera that she just got it like this week and mm-hmm. it's the so-and-so the yep. latest so-and-so yep. and oh. she was like it's you were kind of like I know it's kind of like overkill, but, you know, I wanted to get a really good camera. So that was uh, something. That's amazing. I mean, everybody looks forward to your recap videos and and the stats you put together. And I know your sister Katie helps Mm -hmm. with that, like doing the stats. We're, we love it. Keep it coming. We love all the content. So, well, it's yeah. so exciting here getting like the first look at all the data that I'm then going to be like pouring over. Right, right. So now we're at 30 that have finished. And 30 and we're oh at God, an hour 37 and a half. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So there's still three more people are going to Yeah, so three still. more people are still going to make it into the okay, final. I guess I didn't really have to be worried. <laughs> no, you did okay. <laughs> you didn't have to be worried at all. If you just said something to me before, I would have been like, Karen, come on. Like, give oh, me a break Daria here. You're going to make it. Um, oh, yeah, I've Daria. puzzled with her in some local Orange County contests. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, she's great. Ah, cool. Yeah, so yeah, we still have a couple spots available for people who are finishing here to get into the final. I don't know if they know that. <laughs> it's like puzzle faster. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I feel like if I you had, are listening, puzzle faster. I feel like I had almost an advantage being able to hear you guys right? talking about who was about to finish. Oh, really? Because usually, you know, I'll have no idea uh-huh. who's about to finish or not. Uh-huh. I don't know if it's an advantage or not. I think if I was there, it would distract me because I'd be listening the whole time and like, I don't want to know this. <laughs> no, I do want to know. You do want to yeah, know. Okay. Know. Good to know. All right. Well, you're going to be there all weekend, unfortunately, so get ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just had one other finish. That's exciting. Well, yeah, we will let you get to it. I know you've got a lot. You've got to coordinate, yeah. but I appreciate well, yeah, I'm you taking the time. I'm about to go time. to yeah. a panel about oh, uh, social right. media puzzlers. That's right. You're doing an influencer panel mm-hmm. today, and then you're doing a signing of your yep. new puzzle. Yep. Yep. Do you want to tell us about your new puzzle? Sure. It is mm-hmm. called uh, Colors on Colors. Mm-hmm. It is kind of similar to the first, the 3,000 piece puzzle, mm-hmm. only it's only a um, 1,000 pieces, so yeah. it's much easier. Yep. It's all in kind of a, a rainbow gradient order. 
and uh, yeah, it's like a puzzle of a puzzle, and it's very colorful. Yeah, I love yours because they all have like gradients and bright mm -hmm. colors, and so yeah, your puzzles are super fun, and I saw them over on the shelf. Yep. They're selling them here this weekend, yep. so people can buy one and get it signed after your panel today. Yep. So I love it. Keep it coming. <laughs> Keep feel, doing what you're doing. I feel like today has already lasted like four days. I can't I believe know. how much more I'm still going to be doing today. I know. <laughs> it's a little daunting as an organizer. We were all so exhausted last time, and that was a two-day event. And we're like, you guys, we added a day. We're going to be time really you're tired. Have, like a team prelim. It's oh, be like don't four even. I, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get through this first. But yes, congratulations. Oh, thank you. You did awesome. We love watching you. So did the viewers. So keep yeah, keep going. Thank you for yeah, me. yeah, great work. Thank you for yeah. stopping by, Ken. Yeah, and have fun today. All right. I think we're about at that time. We could do our mention some of our sponsors. I was just going to uh, do well, that. In my fact. mind. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I have it right here. And we would again like to uh, thank Masterpieces. Dive into a world of captivating imagery and unparalleled craftsmanship with Masterpieces jigsaw puzzles. Each piece is meticulously hand drawn to deliver an unforgettable puzzling experience. Puzzle Warehouse where PuzzleWarehouse.com is the premier destination for puzzle enthusiasts. We offer the largest variety of puzzles in the United States, catering to all ages and preferences. Our commitment to customer satisfaction is evident in our user-friendly website, which produces a seamless shopping experience. Additionally, Puzzle Warehouse supports the puzzle community by fostering a culture of an engagement and enjoyment around puzzling, they host events and offer a Puzzle of the Month Club. We hope to see you soon at PuzzleWarehouse.com and Eboo. Eboo is proud to be part of the 2024 U.S. Jigsaw Nationals. Eboo Peace and Love creates puzzles that are always beautiful and tell a story. We collaborate with independent artists from around the world to create designs that are sturdy and sustainably made from 90% recycled board and vegetable-based inks. Learn more about us at eboo.com. All right. Okay. Well, yeah, we have so many great sponsors for this event. A lot of them are here and have booths and selling products. And, uh, you know, I... Um, it's just really fun to meet all these folks because we're basically just a giant community of puzzle nerds this weekend. Right. <laughs> you know, um, we're just all nerding out about our favorite thing and it's just so much fun. It's like, yeah, everywhere you go in the hotel, there's people puzzling in the lobby and in the hotel bar and in the restaurant. Yeah, in the and, restaurant, they had the tables just filled yeah, with puzzles when yeah. we walked in the morning. If there's a coffee table, you know, in a hallway with good lighting, people are like, yeah, let's use this. So they're sitting on the floor puzzling, you know, there's like <laughs> puzzling happening everywhere in the hotel. And not a lot of people in the pool, though. Right. <laughs> Waterproof floating well, puzzles. Well, you know what, next. Jeff? We have those. Okay. I, sh I should have known. <laughs> I there, did not know that. Yes. But. There's a sponsor. There's a, a, a vendor up in the convention area who sells waterproof puzzles. They're made on plastic. It floats. And <laughs> she even has this like little floaty puzzle board of that course. you can like do the puzzle on in the pool. And she said she was going to put some out at the pool here at the hotel oh, and just let people try them. So, yeah. Hysterical. But these are a lot of, uh, I'd like to say, indoor cats. Right. So, right, right, exactly. <laughs> they're focused on puzzling. I love that Becca's like, so let's go so we can go up to the room and puzzle. Um, and that's, you know, even though they're competing and they're doing this all day and, you know, but then in the evening they still want to do a puzzle with their friends and, and just hang out. So I just wanted to mention that we have locked up the 33 uh, people that are going to move on to the individual final on Sunday afternoon. So Michelle Chan from Houston, Texas. What well, I think maybe she was part yeah. of the Chan clan last oh, year. Oh, I wonder. Sure, yeah, I, I would maybe. have to double check. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to look, yep. look her up. But, In 2022, and, yeah. One hour, 38 minutes, 25 seconds. So it looks like just, 42 just minutes. Just got in there. Yeah. yeah, 42 minutes behind the leader. Uh, and she was only three seconds in front of Rosemary oh, Dabbs from Knoxville, yeah. Tennessee. Rosemary who just, just missed, missed the cut. It. Yeah, just missed the cutoff for and then by more, three seconds. That's rough. I, yeah. And, 
well, that three seconds has now popped up twice. Right. You know, the difference between the first preliminary, first mm -hmm. and second place was only three seconds. And now Michelle just edged out Rosemary by three seconds for that last yeah. qualifying spot you for Sunday's just, final. You want to just yell it out like, there's still one spot left, you know, <laughs> like get them going. But, you know, well, it's, yeah, you just have to. I, I always like Allie has this saying she says to us, and I think she heard it from somebody else. When when you are speed puzzling, you can kind of get into a lull. You know, you just suddenly you relax a little, and pretty soon you're puzzling in a more casual manner. Yeah. Allie says she has this mantra in her head, which is like, "Are you puzzling as fast as you can? Are you puzzling as fast as you can?" <laughs> <laughs> so you just like have to remind yourself because if it's something you do for fun as well. You know, you do just kind of get into leisurely mode when you're on your own. Yeah. yeah. I think in a pair team, you've got the synergy of the group and it's kind of keeping it going. And, you know, if your person right next to you is just really cruising, it kind of pushes you on. You That's why I think individuals for me is really hard because I get into that lull. I just get comfortable. And before you know it, I'm like, la, 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 and just kind of <laughs> hanging out. And then I realize, oh, no, right. <laughs> I'm in a contest. Right. I'm not doing this like as like I should. So, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to stay motivated when it's just you. And especially, you know, they're at an hour and 40 minutes. It's hard to do anything at a super fast pace for an hour and 40 minutes. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. for sure. And now we're inside where we've crossed the hour 45 mark. Mm -hmm. So we're in the final 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And we have less than half of the post. Oh, I know. Yeah, looking Not at the finish. space now, it's like, wow, there's a lot Way of puzzlers still more. going right. earlier when we hit this point yeah the room was almost empty exactly. you know and so yeah it just tells you how much more difficult this one there was 76 finishers mm -hmm. in the first preliminary right and now right now we're at 37 yeah and i'm sure we'll get a few more in fact we can see thanks to the camera work here yeah that, uh, yeah the crew's doing a great job yep. showing right now is that table it's number five, five. Yep. yeah yeah and actually, I recognize her. That's Cleo yeah. Vanderveen. She's a USAJP member for since we started. I feel okay. like I've seen Cleo on Zoom so many times in Puzzle she's, Club and everything. Like and six, I'm excited for her that she's left, yeah. But I'm, she's not gonna make the final. Not gonna get the final, but she's gonna get done in under the she two will. hours. Yep. Which so I think great. for her, she'll be really ha pleased with that. Okay. But yeah, like so nice work, pieces, Cleo. Five pieces left. For yeah. Sure. And now I feel like I recognize her too. Hope they're going. Oh yeah, she's almost she's almost got it. There it yeah, is. there All it right. is. She got done. Nice work, Cleo. 50. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man, it's hard to keep going and keep that stamina up. We had, you mentioned she's been a member of the USA mm -hmm. Jigsaw Puzzle Association. Uh, we talked to Allie about that in the membership, mm -hmm. uh, and she talked about all of the benefits and that mm -hmm. it's $24 a year. How can folks sign up for that? Oh, yeah, it's really easy. You just go to our website, usajigsaw.org. There's, a, I think, a button right on the first page. It's like, want to join or something good, like that. Good. So it's all easy right. to find. There's a tab for membership, so people can easily find that and link and, and get signed up if they want to join. We'd love to have more people. We have our monthly puzzle club where we get together on Zoom and, and people meet from all over the country and find out that they have stuff in common with other puzzlers and right. it's just really a fun social kind of activity. I did want to give a shout out. Yes. So EB, uh, she yeah. finished 14th oh, and right, right behind her was Robin DeCare 15th. And then, so all of these names, honestly, all of the names in the top Lucia. 15 I recognize. Like these yeah. are all in Sammy and she tied with Robin for 15th, Sammy Brownlow. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, I just recognize so many of these names. So it's no surprise to me that they're Andrew all kind of made it onto the final. But, man, there were a lot of good competitors in this round. And, you know, most of them, it took over an hour. We only had the two top, Gene Reuter and Andrea Peng, finishing in under an hour. So this was a tough puzzle. Andrea we're going to hear about this one. She, yeah. yeah. Everybody's going to be like, thanks, you guys. She like, great. here. She's from mm -hmm. St. Paul. She's 17th in the national rankings. Yeah. And she finished, you know, 12th, and it took her an hour 15 minutes. And Andrea's incredibly fast. So <laughs> that was a tough puzzle, I yes. think. You know, another thing I wonder is the people who have the first uh, prelim in the morning. I feel like they have a bit of an advantage as well. More fresh. Yeah. 
it's early in the day. I think the later it gets in the day, you, you know, just naturally, the unless you've just taken a nap or something, right, right. you're probably coming in a little bit more tired than you would be. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so they, don't, they don't have a marathon that starts at like 3 p.m., for example. It starts at like 7 in the morning, wow. you know. So I think yes. there's something to that. People just naturally, you know, if they're busy all day and they're socializing, it's it's going to be slower times maybe in the afternoon. I know at Worlds, that was something that really came into play because we had like some days where it was 14 hours of competition. And so it went late into the evening. So you had people that maybe puzzled early in the day and then had to come back at like eight at night and puzzle again. And I mean, that was that was tough. You really had to have some stamina. You'd want for to that go kind to the thing. hotel room and take a little nap right? or something. Right, right. If, you, yeah. I mean, if you have the, yeah, that, exactly. Yes. Like here, I mean, one nice thing, we're all in the same hotel for the most part. And so a lot of people are staying right here in the venue, so they don't have very far to go to come and compete. This is your 10 minutes warning. We are 10 minutes away from the two hour time limit. So we'll just have a little bit faster and then you'll be done. <laughs> and we just got the 10 minute warning from Allie. But yeah, so we uh, decided as a you know, group of organizers for this event that we didn't want stuff to go in the evening. We, I mean, we could have probably fit in like a team preliminary and, you know, and, and had these super long days, but we just decided, you know what, let's try to wrap it up by like 5.30 or so every day so that in the evenings people can socialize. And then the volunteers too, you know, a lot of them are working all day helping right, right. and we want them to have time to just chill and, you know, and, and have, time to connect with their fellow Three fellow way puzzlers screen, split screen here now that's pretty cool um mm -hmm. with a couple of uh, mm -hmm. puzzlers getting close to finishing mm -hmm. now as we have the nine oh, minute there mark and there's one yeah right there yeah oh i can't see what table is it 15 um oh 35 sorry yeah, so that was 35. sabrina godfrey just finished okay. nice good job sabrina to her so we mm -hmm. were gonna have what 40 some now probably close to 40 finishers at this point and hopefully we're going to have more mm -hmm. yeah and we just saw on screen oh william just finished so william is one of our volunteers with the with the mickey mouse ears which i had last uh, yeah last william time was in yeah he's a, he's a head volunteer he helps with the this whole competition space he's sort of in charge of the competition area and orienting all the the volunteer judges and helping them out he's he's the first to tell you i'm not the fastest puzzler but i just like to participate in everything and i'm so glad he finished in under the two hours and made it yes um but there on your screen right now you're seeing lisa schuler that's sarah schuler's mom oh yes who came I with her, her. Yeah, yeah she, she came with her my, yep. introduced herself to me she recognized me from the previous broadcast. oh did she okay yeah, so yep. she's so, made a beeline yep. for me oh jeff <laughs> i'm sarah's mom yep and we all know her from broadcasting because she would be active in the comments if she wasn't here because oh, okay. she's usually in the comments rooting for sarah letting <laughs> her know course. we're watching you you know and and engaging with a lot of the people on the live stream i remember in the past when she's been commenting she's great she answers people's questions because um, she's super knowledgeable <laughs> right right she's and and she's mm -hmm. a competitor. Yeah, well. she is. She, you know, right. and she's a competitor in her own right. Lisa does very well. I've competed with Lisa, and we've won competitions with her on the team. She's quite fast. Um, she's going to be competing uh, in the pairs division as well, and then she, wait, wait. I believe, is in teams too. Oh, wow. so yeah, okay. and she's really good. So right. Sarah, you know, maybe inherited that that right. skill. Right, Lisa's, exactly. Yeah, Lisa's been doing this but for Sarah a long time. But Sarah and her time. mom are not going to be on the same team. No, no, okay. not, right. unfortunately, no. I think uh, I think Lisa's, you know, knows that Sarah needs to be with the people kind of at her speed right, more so. Right. To so put her in the right, chance of winning exactly. Yeah. There. So this is table seventy-four. It looks like Lori Nussbaum. So, Lori, mm -hmm. you're so close. You've only got six and a half minutes. You can do this. Get yes. in there. Get it done. We want to see people finish if they can. It's such a nice feeling if you get it done. And then, of course, uh, a little bit later this afternoon, we're going to have the third preliminary round. And Yvonne Foyt, the individual champ from 2022, mm -hmm. is going to compete, but she already received... Uh, you know, an exemption to get into the final, regardless mm -hmm. of how she does. Now, mm -hmm. 
there's a good chance she'll win yeah, her I don't, preliminary. <laughs> I was so going to say, I don't think anybody's need, worried about her making it. To, she'll but, make it on her own, right? Right, right. right. But she, yeah, so it'll be exciting mm-hmm. just to watch her. Yep. And then we'll go through and pick out some of the other mm-hmm. top competitors yep. in that as we start that broadcast. Yeah, so people should be ready to tune in for that after we're done here with this one. We'll be back only about a half hour later with our next division. <laughs> with our third. Yeah, it starts at um, three. Oh, yeah. What, t- no, what time does it we start? We have that in. May not have that I, in It's front in of us. here somewhere. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it starts at three thirty. At yeah. three thirty. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah, I know. Is it three thirty or four? Maybe it's at four. They. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I. Yeah, I'll that's a good. Up. Okay, you go and grab that here and regardless as we'll uh, we'll take a little break from the live stream after we wrap this competition up in exactly five minutes from now we're at the hour 55 mark um and we'll be oh okay there you go we'll get the program yeah okay uh, yeah but sorry we'll be it's on youtube <laughs> and Twitch. it starts right at yeah, four, four yep. okay so we'll have a We'll be back at 3.45 with the like pre-announcements okay. and everything, and then the competition begins at 4. Sorry. I would have that so memorized, three, you would think. Right, but, right. 3.45. Yeah. So we'll mm-hmm. have about a half hour or so yeah. off from when we finish this broadcast. And think, right yeah. now, William was in 51st place, so we've had about ha- almost exactly half yes, that have finished. And, boy, that's, you know, that's tough. We did not think this would be that hard that we'd only have half the people finish in, right, in a right. two-hour two time hours. period. But that's so, a 500 piece puzzle. It is, yes. For folks at no, home, that's they're, no they're, joke. Yeah, they'll be like, what? <laughs> yeah, right. I, I shouldn't say it like I'm disappointed. But, but it's the, like, these are you the know. national finals. Right, so, right, you right. Know. Or the na- prelims, yeah. Yes, yep, you're yep. right. But the, the national championship. Yes, so, yep. yeah, it's yep. going to be higher level of competition. Sure. But, but I mean, you know, lots of people, even though it's a national championship, they, I mean, we don't have a requirement to get in. That's Anybody true. can sign up. So even if you've never competed before, you can sign up to participate. Um, so, yeah, we have people here who this is their first time ever doing it. They don't know how they're going to fare, you know, so it's just exciting to see yeah, how it so goes. Throw yeah. Throw your hat in the ring right? and exactly. see what happens. And, now, uh, yeah. Allie had told me, and I found it was exciting and interesting that you open up for the USA JPA mm-hmm. members mm-hmm. first yeah for the first week right, and right. it filled up in two days yeah. so only members of the Jigsaw yeah, Puzzle Association much. got, got exactly. in maybe there was a couple of yeah. slot you know right last we didn't fill-ins, we but. did not expect that at all that it would fill up so quickly I mean in 2022 we had uh, we didn't even fill the team's division. You know, we had 50 right. spots available, and I think we had 33, 33 teams compete. 33, yes. So we were, we didn't think in two hours that it would, <laughs> it would fill up. <laughs> right. So it was a real shock for us as organizers at the popularity of it. I mean, I think we... We thought, yeah, let's give, you know, members like a week, you know, lead time to get signed up before we open it up to the public. And then, yeah, in two days, the entire thing was full and we were just sort of flabbergasted by it, honestly. I mean, it's a lovely problem to have, but it's right. also like, wow, we got to we got to look at a bigger venue. I think in the future it's going <laughs> to oh, be. I was just going to go back to. Oh, yeah. Just to wanna... recap sure. real quick mm-hmm. here. We're in the final two minutes, 15 seconds. Mm-hmm. And Gene Reuter won the second individual heat. Mm -hmm. Of course, her sister, Kathy, had won the first individual heat, so they have a lock on the the first two. Andrea Peng came in uh, two minutes, 28 seconds Mm -hmm. after her finishing second. Uh, The Reuters are from Duval, Washington. Andrea's Mm -hmm. from San Francisco. Becca Taylor finished third. She's from Redwood City, so that's the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. And Jessa Douglas, we talked to Becca and Jessa here a little while ago. Of course, we did talk to Jeannie and Andrea as well. Kelly Buer Mm -hmm. was third. She's from Soquel, California, and I'm not familiar with that, so I Mm -hmm. assume northern part of the state myself. Mm -hmm. Gail McCormick, State College, Pennsylvania, so she's a Penn State Nittany Lion Mm -hmm. or is... I would assume affiliated, and Karen Puzzles mm-hmm. finished seventh yeah. in Los Angeles, a time an hour, 11 minutes, 24 seconds. She was almost 15 minutes oh, there's, uh, behind the There's pit. Scruff. I just saw Scruff. He's on there. Oh, I don't think he's going to make it. Oh, 
because we're mm, in the maybe not. I know we got a lot of Scruff fans that usually tune yep. in. He's he he's got a following a, on Twitch, and he's just a minute left. Yeah. Right now. One oh, I hope left. he gets so we'll in get there, ready but. To go to yeah. Allie on the main stage here. Yeah, she'll be doing the countdown here a in a little bit. A few moments. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Trisha Seidlecki from the Bay Area. Eighth. Kimberly Kenny uh, from Pasadena, the ninth. Oh, and Min Lee Deng from San Diego finished tenth. So that rounded them out. And, of course, the top yeah. 33 finishers move on. And we now have 33 seconds left. Oh, Allie is yep. Going as soon to the as she counts stage. it down and it hits that two hour mark, everybody has to stop puzzling and then we count the pieces to get the ranking finalized. So we're going to have a lot of pieces to count when we've only got 40, we got 49 teams You're still, right. still puzzling. You're right. So right. we're in the final couple of seconds. Here's Allie yep. on the main stage. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to do the last countdown here. Five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Everyone, hands up, hands up, hands off the puzzle. Great job, everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause. You stuck it out. That takes real commitment. Great job, everyone. For anyone that didn't get a chance to finish, we will have volunteers coming around to help you count your pieces. Um, please make sure that a volunteer comes to help you with really that before you, you um, okay. touch your pieces anymore. Okay. Um, and we will have a couple more announcements here in just a minute. If you guys hang out, we'll talk about the raffle and a special swag bag uh, item uh, announcement as well. Thanks so much. Great job, everyone. All okay. right. And we want to thank everybody for watching mm -hmm. the live stream of the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association's second individual mm -hmm. prelim. Uh, join us for the third and final prelim starting in... About a half hour yeah. or so. We'll be back. I'm yep. Jeff Whittle. And I'm Valerie Coit. Yeah, thanks for joining us. It's been great. We'll see you back on mm -hmm. YouTube and Twitch in a half hour. Yep, sounds great. <laughs>